I'm wearing my Patreon sweater to remind all of you that our Patreon pod, and we do an extra episode every week. It's below, and today we got RDR. You're not going to want to miss it. He's currently going downstairs, desperately trying to get RPP not to leave him, and he he really is interested because she said she's throwing out his bong. So Enjoy the pod. Leo, I think you might be right about the sob story. I I knew it. When did you use it and how? I didn't use it, but I saw it used in a movie. Ooh. And I realize now that it's a tradition. It is. Uh, the, a man saying a sob story to a woman to try to get laid. You ever used a sob story, NBA Mike, to get some tail? Uh, never anything like in person. You should. It should be about uh, you not making it to the league. The, uh, you not making it to the league or the plight of the black man in America to a woman, a white woman, because, you know, you, you're that's your type. I think um, the, that's going to get you get laid, I think, often, early and often. Yeah. Just be like a humble, uh, could have gone, blew up my knee. Right. And then you also could say something like, you know, the the refs, like you you went into the ref meeting room and they were like, they were all in KKK robes. <laughs> and it's, and which is kind of weird. It was weird. They had your picture up on like a bulletin board and they all had to throwing darts at your face. I, I said, go for it. Say that the refs of your semi-pro basketball games were all KKK. And that, therefore, you need to have sex with the girl in question. I, I see the kind of the image like you're at a bar, but you're dressed to the nines for some reason. For some reason, you're looking fantastic. I was watching a film today where a sob story was used. Hmm. Effectively. You ever seen Some Like It Hot? Of course. A long time ago. Why were you watching that? I, uh, it's a classic. Well, that's a weird I, uh, movie for you to watch. Marilyn Monroe, Jack Lemmon, and I believe Tony Curtis. It's a, t- it's a comedy classic. Why is that it weird? It is considered a comedy classic. It's two guys dressing as a woman to escape. What was it again? I don't remember the plot. But to I, escape uh, mobsters, mobsters who assassinated a bunch of people. But yeah. Tony Curtis, when he's trying to fuck Marilyn Monroe, mm-hmm. you know, it's really relevant to our day and age and probably to a lot of our fans. I know this was a strategy I employed when I was younger. Tony Curtis... Uh, swims out or takes a dinghy out to an empty yacht, yeah. pretends it's his, Dope. and tries to fuck Marilyn Monroe on it. See, dude, they had it right. That was like in the 50s, dude. And, they and knew he, it was up. And he puts it, he goes big, Leo. Yeah. He's not just like, oh, yeah, it's my it's my yacht. He's He does, he says he went to Princeton, mm. and he's a champion polo rider, and he speaks in an English accent. Oh, my God, he the, was going for the it. The boat is the, oh, it's the old Caledonia. You wow. know, it, I have oil money. My family own shell wow and then he tells a sob story he says he was his vision was so bad that he tried to make out with his first girlfriend on the precipice of the grand canyon and he accidentally pushed her into the canyon oh and mules it took him eight hours to bring her corpse up to the top again oh my god and i could never love a woman again and he just basically makes Marilyn like try to blow him to make him feel something amazing dude and for sure off screen he banged Marilyn for sure because uh tony curtis was a huge actual pimp during his time pimp dude yeah he uh julio read his biography where he he goes into detail about some parties and things he used to do uh during his reign in hollywood during during his youthful days in hollywood but yeah tony curtis one of the top pimps back in the day when me too wasn't a thing so nba what we need you to do right now is we need you to go big yeah like tony curtis so you need to put on not a british accent but put on like a south central accent oh my god and you need to tell me i'm gonna play a girl and you need to tell me a sob story yeah, I love that. All right, I got you. So, um, you're 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 pretty you're pretty cute, and you're so tall. I like it. Shit, I get that a lot. Oh yeah, I bet. <laughs> yeah, you must be popular with the women. Yeah, I don't really mess with them anymore ever since. What? The one got away. Oh my god, no! What happened? <sighs> she did me dirty. She did. She, oh no, she cheated. Not so much, but. What happened? She's gone now. She died? South Central, it gets spicy. Oh, shit. Drive-by shooting? Gang affiliation, yes. Oh, no, my God. <laughs> she was a she-blood? She wanted to kick it with the crew. <laughs> Kicking it uptown, downtown. She had to go. You're, you're being very vague here. You have to explain what you're saying. Uh, I'll put it like this. Yeah. Crew from East Side. I thought it was uptown and downtown. Now we're now it's east west. It it's gonna be the all four all four directions here. Uh, I'm gonna stay out of Compton. It sounds geez. dangerous. Came from the east. They were coming west, right? 
Okay. And uh, was out at a party. Didn't end up, didn't end up well for her. Um, they took her. Okay. Had a good time with her. Okay. Dumped her out back in, dumped her out back in uh, South Central. Okay. okay. Well, if she had a compass on her, would she have avoided getting raped? <laughs> if she would have known known the colors of the gangs that she was messing with, the questions from a white woman there, right? Yeah, yeah, that's true. That's true. I think <laughs> I a white woman would have been blowing you about halfway through yeah, that story. Yeah, hundred percent, dude. That's so. That's a sob story, everybody. Sob story. Uh, you, look, I've I found them to be incredibly effective. I've I've a uh, uh, Don Draper, obviously in Mad Men. Everyone knows that's my favorite show, but he uses them unbelievably well, just over and over again. That's what it was so well written about Mad Men. Is it once a guy knows a formula to get some pussy, he does the same one over and over again. And like in these movies where they show these guys being like creative, well, it must be tough for you because I heard there's a GHB shortage in LA. You're a piece <laughs> of shit, dude. <laughs> Why are you such a piece of shit? <laughs> <laughs> your formula is broken, dude. The f- supply chain. So, yeah, now, but what is your, do you, did you have, what was your formula? I can't see who you're looking at because you're wearing shades. You, why don't you like me wearing shades? Because I can't see who you're looking at. Are you talking to me or NBA? You're right, dude. It's better communication if I have my glasses off. I, well, first of all, I love what they did in Some Like It Hot Tony Curtis because mm-hmm. not only did he have a sob story, but he was pushing away. He was uninterested. He's like, I, I can't possibly, I can't feel anything from a woman. I cannot kiss you. I love that. that that's called a freeze out according yeah. to the book, The Game. That's really effective because that's the opposite of what most guys do. Yeah. A pickup artist must be the exception to the rule, mm-hmm. as it says in the game, the book, The Game. My methodology for getting chicks, you know, I would... Get a sturdy plank of wood. Okay. Where's this going? This is going. It's not what you think. It's not what you think. Okay. Piece of wood. Yeah. yeah. Why do you need anything like wood while attaining a woman? I'm explaining it to you right now. Okay. I would get a wood burning kit and I would romantically burn into the wood. Danny plus insert name of female here equals forever you'd give this plank of wood to each and every one of the women i wouldn't give it to them so much as i would whack them over the fucking head with it it. there it is (laughs) nba mike you were pro okay this is a question i've always kind of wanted to ask the black community because they are well known to have good game right and everyone i've studied game for so long i was a kind of a dork in middle school and then i, be, I kind of be, became like this legendary ladies man in my high school i made out with my spanish teacher um and didn't even party but got a lot of blowjobs and staircases um so point of the story is i learned from watching movies asking my dad would like pause movies and teach me stuff about like the the, the dynamic between men and women how do black guys learn to talk to chicks you know i, I think it's so effectively a, it, as a community they're so good at it right i mean i mean it could be like a cultural thing i think that they're seeing um people in the community go around kind of getting the chicks around and i think um it's very like tight-knit like yeah. in a depending on like where you are, like the whole culture. I mean, I, I can agree. I, I didn't get too much of that. And um, I definitely like learned a bit of game in like college, like 2020, mm. looking at like a, uh, like rational male, like stuff like that. Mm. What's the rational male? Pull that up, Austin. Mitch told me to, to grab this one, my so, good friend, Mitch. Rolo uh, Tomasi? Yeah, yeah. That's, uh, that's from LA Confidential, the alias of a uh, pickup artist now, the rational male. Yeah. We're going to check this out. We're going to see what it's about. The you know Bible who got of this? The red pill? Adam, Adam Fu was all about this. Dude, Rolo Tomasi looks shady. He looks like Leo. He looks like a white Leo. He looks like a white Leo who's <laughs> balding, so he uses a do-rag. <laughs> he looks like white Leo in 10 years. Yeah, it looks like if I just wanted to just keep going down the old shady trail. He looks so shady, dude. And Adam Fu read this book too. So there are it's it's nice to know that it works for both blacks and yeah. Jews. Yeah. Well, there's been some tension between ever since Kanye. True. That's so that's good. I think in my in my bleakest of futures, I would be just looking for King Crocs on the internet to give me four grand for like a course, you know? Yeah, that's the move. That it's, is the move. They it's, say it's that uh the wedding industry and the funeral industry are so profitable because there's so much emotion involved. Mm-hmm. Double I mean 
add in pickup too. Oh yeah. Because guys are so emotional about it. And the guys who will pay for these products are a little bit socially retarded, therefore easy to be preyed on. To me, it's it's kind of messed up. And, and I've read some pickup literature too. So I'm not saying the guys who I'm talking about are the guys who pay four grand for the personal training like King Croc. Are uh, the boot camps? <laughs> Or yeah, the, boot camps. The, the rational males, Bob, it's been it's been around for a while. Yeah, it's yeah, it's been old. What is the give us the kind of like the the a breakdown of like its most important like things that it says? Uh, I mean, overall, I think uh, what I took from it, I mean, I'm not so red pill or anything like that. Yeah. Um, but um, I feel like uh, in college, I kind of had a problem. Just like, man, like, like what do girls really want? Mm-hmm. And uh, I, I think this book does well, does a good job in explaining it that. um women aren't necessarily looking for like the hottest looking guy or like a mm-hmm. guy who um like like just the, the complete nice guy or anything like that you kind of got to be like stereotypically i don't know maybe like that's what we're telling you you got to talk like a black guy from Compton like, and <laughs> unagreeable um like uh unagreeable um maybe not un- but like stubborn mm-hmm. um like well you know like what you want you're not gonna like backtrack on things mm-hmm. stuff like that yeah it's a it's a tough thing to explain how to get women yeah it's i remember once the you the ufc fighter one of my mentors it was very inappropriate we were talking about we were in a mind coaching seminar with like a tony robbins like figure and he was asking everybody what is something you are unconsciously competent at meaning something you're good at, but you can't explain it because we were trying to get to the level of being consciously competent. Sure. We were trying to get to the level where you can explain why his guillotine choke was so effective in the cage. And when the, the Tony Robbins guy's like, so something you, what is something you are unconsciously competent at? No shame just goes, pimping bitches. Ah. Because I get a lot of pussy, but I can't explain and how I do it. he wouldn't think. I mean, he wasn't. I mean, he was just existing and he was in the present moment. Maybe that's what he means. You know, like Austin, you're going to have to bleep that name. I just said, can you bleep that? I, I told myself I was going to stop using people's real fucking names. You're never oh. going to stop doing that. Dude. Always, always you, 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 you out your poor friends from fucking <laughs> middle school. Why do they have to worry about you outing them in from doing something weird behind your barn in middle school? They got to worry about it. Nobody was doing anything weird behind my barn in middle school. Well, you know, maybe by themselves or something and you caught them. But either way, listen, stop using full names. I, I will stop. But yeah, it's it's hard NBA to explain it. And also, it probably we have the unfair advantage, the the three of us here. And uh, yeah, though do. Austin doesn't have the, the the stature of the three of us in terms yeah. of like you know being six foot whatever, Austin yeah. is a good looking guy, so he's got that privilege. He's too. also got the privilege. Yeah, so we we can't. That's why I've never really leaned into being a pickup artist, like uh, you know, guy, because people are just gonna be like, "You're tall and you're six four, and and you you've been handsome for a long time." You, what you gotta really do is play up the state of your penis, which is a huge handicap. Okay, it's <laughs> it's a strength, unfortunately. <laughs> it's a strength, <laughs> so I can't. I knew a guy. Speaking of boot camps, there was this guy in San Francisco named Ramiz who. My good buddy, Tim, who I lived with in San Francisco, was in a fraternity. And this dude, Ramiz, was in that fraternity. It would come to our house to hang out. And he was the most mouth-breathing pickup nerd. He was into Dungeons and Dragons for 16 years. Then he found a pickup forum online and went into pickup. One of those guys who all he talks about is pickup, but is like the anti-pussy personified. Yeah. This guy would just, I remember we would go out one night we got in his car and it was him and this fucking Italian douchebag. No offense, Leo. Mm. This guy who's wearing like glow in the dark necklaces and upside down sunglasses and has some ridiculous mohawk haircut, all in the name of getting laid. They are blasting death metal. Like like the speaker in this fucking 20 year old Honda system is about to blow out. They have to do this though, to get hyped for infield, to oh go out there and get God. pussy. Like, boom, 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 blah, 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 blah. And then we fucking get to the bar. They stand there in the corner, wide eyed. Don't talk to a single woman. 
say the place is dry and then leave. <laughs> <laughs> I've, uh, I've, I've gone out with guys like that many a time. It's hilarious. And, and Ramiz is, eventually came out as gay, too. Of course. He came out as fucking gay. Like, of course. <laughs> that is the funniest thing I've ever heard. He was trying to get over his homosexuality by like leaning in like, maybe I just need to get hotter chicks or something. Like. It was like his conversion therapy yeah. in a, like a, a church in Alabama. And finally, one day, he just he found his truth. He found his cock. Yeah. Yeah, he, dude, he put up like pickup artist videos. He had a video, and I remember he posted a celebration post where it hit 100 views on YouTube. <laughs> this video of him in a soccer field explaining how to pick up chicks. Oh, my God. <laughs> and then he was like in, there's a group called Real Social Dynamics, which is like the most pickup, successful pickup business in the world, probably. Mm. That's got Tyler Durden from the game and a bunch of other guys who are pretty famous. He was a coach for them, which, you know, makes you have to question their teachings and their yeah. fucking system. If that guy can slip through the cracks, it's, you have to, there has to be a way like, like they have to prove that they can get some chicks for like, they need to prove it before anything goes down. Apparently not. And just getting a girl's number, like that's BS. Like look, look at, look at over the years, we have pure hardcore makeouts and you going into rooms and who knows what's happening behind those rooms. We know what's happening. Yeah, Shady it's stuff. your your sister is on her Stop knees it. and she's unable you to speak or crap, breathe. Dude. <laughs> Leave my sister out of this. She's a saint. What's up, guys? Wanted to take a break from the pod for a second to tell you about a ridiculously good deal. You know, a lot of the stuff that we that I tell you about, you know is a really good deal and it's shocking to me that these companies can continue to do it and this is one of them raycon earbuds are ridiculously good quality at half the price of its competitors of, of its literally if you want something like these raycon earbuds which by the way i got a month ago from them and i took them out of the box never charged them and i've just used them this morning once again for a workout it's pretty crazy the battery life. Um, way more than my other than the other ones I have. You know what I mean? Uh, but the it's crazy the price point that these bad boys are at. All right, and it's a thirty two hour battery life if you want specifics, and eight hours of playtime. So that's kind of nuts. They also have a really cool mode that uh, that I like because I live in Los Angeles and it's kind of dangerous across the street with earbuds on and i know a lot of people like using earbuds and walking around but uh, i put them on awareness mode and then i can kind of hear if there's a big truck coming my way or something because that is a fear when you're using earbuds but uh guys if you're looking for earbuds at all or just want to kind of have an extra pair to go you know take on vacations or you know you don't want to or maybe it's your work pair and you have another one you want to leave it at work but you guys this is a phenomenal product for half the price of the other ear, like any other earbuds that are kind of similar to it. They're pretty cool. They're small. The, the, the pack, it's very compact. I'm carrying it right now, in fact. Well, I can show you that I'm carrying it because honestly, I don't want to BS you guys. They're in my fanny pack. You think I'd put them in there if they weren't dupe? Anyway. They have a phenomenal, phenomenal deal for you guys. I'm going to tell you right now, uh, go for it. If you're looking for earbuds, guys, you have to buy this. Go to buyraycon.com slash LDS today to get 20% off your Raycon order plus free shipping. You hear that? 20% off plus free shipping. That's right. You'll get 20% off and free shipping at buyraycon.com slash LDS. Buyraycon.com slash LDS. Get these little bad boys. Listen, um, you have there is a lot of proof and I've turned down uh, so much tail. Well, no, I'm not even saying channel. that we're like legit. That's not that we don't have to make that point. But I, I want to make that point. A number. You're right, though. A number. Girls will give a guy their number to get that guy the fuck away from. Yeah, them. don't. That doesn't count as infield. Yeah, or we might be referring to a certain pickup artist <laughs> who might have uh, our buddy King Croc. <laughs> He, who, a little money to he was owes uh, a little money to probably yeah i we, hope he didn't pay him back and not like the credit card companies <laughs> king croc though the guy who you might know king croc he uh, was he owed four thousand dollars to a pickup coach who we're not going to name and that pickup coach had infield footage where it was like getting 50 numbers at a music festival and these girls were just reciting random digits 
that had the cadence of being a real phone number in order to get this guy away from them. Yeah. Anyway. It's so true. It's like in sales, Leo. Yeah. It's like saying, it's like getting somebody to say like, oh yeah, maybe I'm call me back. Right. Uh, oh, dude, dude this, this fucking, this lead sale. wants to fuck. It's it's a sale. sale. Put it up on the board. Yeah, exactly. Pay no. me, pay me company. Pay me at and huge. Also, I know every, like I've, I've been kind of a pickup coach to all my friends my whole life, and I've seen almost everything happen at this point. And one of the most common things uh, people get to or guys get to is where they're pretty good up until they have to close. That's like so many dudes can talk to a girl. It's going all right. And then, you know, what happens now? How do you get her out of the bar to go to your place? How do you get out of the bar to get your car? How do you get her to have sex with you that night in the same week? get a follow up where it's, you know, I don't know. That's the problem. Yeah. The closing. That's tough too, because that starts bringing other things into consideration. Exactly. Like, do you have a living situation that isn't a disgrace? Correct. It's going to be hard to seal the deal. If your living situation is a complete disgrace. Yes. Do you have a vehicle that isn't an embarrassment? And that I, no. my vehicle is an embarrassment. And I've driven an embarrassing vehicle my whole life. I don't, I get, cars don't matter if you're, your car's cool now. The problem is you, it's, yeah, it's it's never around shop. because yeah, there, yeah. You, there was a hit and run. You did a hit and run. No, I didn't. And now you, I, <laughs> you did a hit and run. Now a, it's in the it shop. It was an accident. Yeah. <laughs> well, was it? I was Whose fault involved. was the accident? Somebody hit me. It's weird. Uh -huh. In a parking lot. He did a hit and run yeah. and his car's yeah, in the shop. Unfortunately. And it's it's damaged. Like, it's, it's almost totaled because he hit the car total. so hard. It's just hard to get parts right if now. You, if you see... If you see a car in Los Angeles with a bunch of black paint on the side and a Challenger-shaped dent... And maybe the imprint of an uncircumcised. Maybe your cock was hanging out the window. I don't know. If you see that, please call yeah. the police immediately. Yeah, it's if hit you run. find my license plate out there, also, you know, send it send it my yeah, way. If, um, it, if you're a business owner, scour your security camera footage from roughly a month and a half ago because we need to bring Leo to justice. So that's what's tough about it, and that's like I mean, still, my car is such a piece of shit that I've told myself, like, dude, and I've actually gone on dates recently where I'm like. I'm fucking Ubering there. Yeah. Or you know what? I'll even do something this embarrassing. Yeah. I'll drive three quarters of the way to the date and then Uber from a random parking lot the other 25% of the way there. That's funny. So I show up like, hey, Ubered in case we drink. Oh, no, yeah. your car <laughs> is a fucking 08 Sable yeah. with like MAGA hats and fucking yeah. McDonald's wrappers in the back because yeah. you can't control your eating. Fan Jerry <laughs> can't control his eating. Uh, <laughs> <laughs> no, it's true. I, I've had a shitty uh, the the shitty car uh, picking up like you you become an expert of excuses until eventually like you start dating a chick and then she's got to see it. So then I would just be like, this was my move. Like I'd be I'd I'd be about to pick him up and be like, hey, you know, I'd be like on the phone and be like, hey, you know, just let you know, I I got a kind of a, it's a funny car, you know. A lot of things are going down with it, but you know, I'm saving up for something bigger, and uh, you know, I, I I just I don't I don't really care about my car. So yeah, it doesn't. You got to like you know just it, lean into it. Kind of. I, I agree. Yeah, if you can just fucking own it, yeah. it should not be a deal breaker. Mm -hmm. But as somebody who has a tendency toward insecurity, which I guess probably that's everybody. That's everybody. I dude. feel like we guys we want to be, especially living in LA. There's and especially in the age of social media, where all we see are the guys with the G wagon, the house in the hills, everything together, or at least on Instagram, everything's together because we're comparing ourselves to them. It's so easy to feel insecure. If you're driving anything that costs less than 60 grand, a hundred percent. But I can tell you that over and over again, I've seen the guys that get the most chicks have the shittiest cars. And I, that's you know, probably I don't, not I don't like giving you compliments true. often nowadays uh, because you always talk shit, but you have a shitty car and you get, I mean, I don't know. I mean, I don't know that many guys, Doing that much better than D. D do I always talk shit? Danny Mullen. No, I'm just saying you always say that you're going to bang my sister on the spot. I, I do but have. There's a couple keys I always hit. That's it's not, it's yeah. Leo's uncircumcised. Correct. But it's cheesy. Yep. And then I bang your sister. And then you bang my sister. Hey, what, what was happening earlier today when you were like, oh, yeah, you know, I called your sister when you were in jail. To oh, well, that was pre-pod because I'm a nice guy. Oh. Me and Miss. Oh, so you can I, talk shit before the mics go hot? I'm sorry, dude. We had when Danny was in jail, the family was emotional and your sister reached out to me over the dms and we, that's then we not, had a conversation that, that's not exactly what happened we had a conversation there was they didn't know <laughs> if you were out you're going to be put away for years and i was going to be there to support her i want to say that for so. my sister's husband's benefit <laughs> what happened was i had one call on a jail phone 
<laughs> and the only way I could get in touch with Leo, because I don't know his fucking phone number, yeah. is by having my sister DM him, because my dad doesn't have an Instagram. Yeah. And he, Gary uh, made one, too, which is funny, after the fact. Oh, so hell yeah. I'd already responded to your sister's What DM if he's just going down reason. my followers list, just like following <laughs> every chick who follows me? <laughs> <laughs> Hey, Danny, that Oreo chick's got a nice ass. <laughs> hey, Oreo. You know, you think Danny Mullen's pretty cool? He came out of my nutsack. Jeez, Dad. Um, no. Nutsack? I've never heard you say that word before. No, but but uh, I, I would. I think a sister swap might be in order. If she was single. Oh, really? I, dude, I think a sister swap is the most beautiful, like, harmonious transaction that exists in humanity because if i fucked your sister and you fucked my sister like nobody wins nobody wins nobody can really like get jealous or feel bad because mm-hmm. you're like yeah hey, daddy I, you, she, jay mullen was moaning i was like oh don't get me started on fucking cecilia <laughs> <laughs> it would be oh god i wouldn't want you to have sex with my sister though i'm, I'm gonna be honest i think your <laughs> your you know your sister's experience like you're gonna just you're gonna do some stuff she's never seen before dude you know you're gonna do some strange things meanwhile i'm just gonna you're gonna only get off with one leg behind my head okay if we if we just like watch the scene where drogo has sex with khaleesi in in the game of thrones that's just gonna be your sister with me it's not that big a deal just just a doggy it's a nice yeah thank you austin i was wondering that too Oh, no, you're right not now. pulling it up. Oh, dude. Oh, yeah, with K-K, Khaleesi, K-H-A. This is, don't, you, I don't think you can put it up. L-E-S, yeah, it'll come up. L-E-S-S-I. Okay, I'm going to watch <laughs> this real quick. So this is Jason Momoa. I, I don't think this oh, is Oh, clearly you beat off not, to this Yeah, wait, wait, is this the one? <laughs> Jesus. I, clearly I've beat off to this. Yeah, keep going, um, keep going ahead a little bit. I think she's, this isn't the Momoa one, though. No, yeah, yeah I'm is, getting a little chubbed no, up. Just but watching. this isn't the first time they hook up, though. This is like it's got to be the first time they hook up. So go back, is, go back. So this is gonna be my sister here, dude. This is your sister. That's me. No, no, go back. Uh, no, this is uh, when she makes him not do doggy for the first time. So this she wants. It. Oh, but he rejects it. He, he rejects it. Yeah, and then she's like, "Stop." So she wants Mish, and he just wants, wants mish. doggy. Yeah, <laughs> that, this is basically me, dude. Tonight I would look upon <laughs> your face. She's just that's that was the dialogue. Tonight I would look upon your face. Yeah, and he's like, "No, no, yeah, <laughs> doggy, <laughs> doggy only." Who, that is so weird. Why would this girl's hot too? She well, he is. He's a Dothraki, and he likes doggy. Danny, leave him alone. <laughs> This isn't the first uh, time they have sex, though. You got to go back. Go back. Jason Momoa. So this is a compilation of them having sex. Yeah, pretty much. But this, the uh, the first one is, is no, it's keep video going. It, yeah, I think it's a different video. Yeah. These chicks are about to they're about to les out. Yeah, let me more. see. Go down. I don't think they're probably going to have it on Drago YouTube. and whatever her name is. They don't they're not going to have it on YouTube because it's uh it's a little too graphic. You can, dude, dude, the things you can have on YouTube, there are nudist channels where chicks well, yeah. are on beaches so they with their should, kids out. They should have it. I mean, it's it's dry. It, it should be allowed on YouTube. Yeah. But they probably, Game of Thrones probably copyright strikes it because they want you to pay for to Game of Thrones scenes, if you're going to yeah. jerk off to it. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Absolutely. But, uh, but yeah, it's pretty vicious doggy style sex scene. Vicious. You, get, you get the idea. Have you beat off to it? Oh, yeah, probably. At some uh, point. Probably. That's a yes. Yeah. That's a yeah. I have. This, uh, she uh, was really hot, the chick. Dude, Khaleesi in this was hot. She's beautiful. Yeah, I looked her up in person. She was a little disappointing without the whole wig and the getup. Yeah, but she's all, that's also you got to remember. This is like 15 years ago. So she's just aged a little bit. Can you bit. pull her up, Austin? I want to see. Yeah, I, I, uh, um, I apologize. What is her name? I have no idea. Did you just, watch Game of Thrones? Yeah, I watched Game of Thrones. Oh, you're, I've never watched it. You, Danny? No, never no, seen it. I've, ne- I've watched, watched first up to season two. Uh, I did watch, but I, to be honest, it didn't capture my imagination. Um, I have to try it again, though. I know fans of of Game of Thrones are always like, what the hell? Amelia Clark. Amelia Clark. Now. Yeah, she looks pretty hot in that getup. Yeah. But yeah then, she's attractive. She's an attractive. She just looks woman. super hot as the fucking blonde witch lady. She, she, yeah, she's, she's like hot. Amazing, yeah. She's hot. Yeah, yeah she she's, just she's, something about that medieval bleached blonde hair. But no, she's definitely attractive. She's yeah. uh, she's got something to her. Do you NBA, a, what would you do to her? She's my type. Uh, would you tell her about the East and the West? That's and your the, type, and the dude. The, a nice the blue and the downtown. And, nice little white woman's this type. He's going yeah. out there, <laughs> having his way. I'd put it on her. You'd put it on her? Would you drug out it? Oh, shit. For the one time, yeah. For the boys. What, was she, what She'd be like, which, which kingdom did you originate <laughs> from? And you'd just be like, South Central, bitch. <laughs> I wonder if that would work. If you, I wonder I if you, you teleported could, back to the to dragon times. Oh yeah, it would work. 
You think it would work? Like a fitted like Yankee hat on or something. Yeah. Something from the times that would make you look stand out. Dude, uh, that Martin Lawrence um, did a movie like that. He's uh, King's. I forget what it's called, but he goes back in time and he teaches all of them to dance and stuff. <laughs> he just he acts like a like a stereotypical black man. Okay, yeah, I, it's I was pretty funny. Say, I've heard that plot before, but never in the Dark Ages. You know, it, it's pretty funny, dude. Yeah, dude, I'm there's this. So I I've had it forever. I've talked about it a little bit. I have this giant encyclopedia set about Will Durant's history of civilization. That's that's the title of it, not what it's about. But I, I finally got it on audiobook because I was like, okay, I'm not going to sit down and read through every single one of these tomes. I was tripping out yesterday. We got back from our desert road trip, which we'll talk about a little bit. And I was listening to the one about pre-civilization, just human beings. Dude, people were fucking out of control. Like there was this one clan that thought when a girl got pregnant, it was because of ghosts. Oh. And so like there's this one. Re- and I think this was... I think it might be like a modern day primitive group of people from like the 1900s. And one researcher went down to this one girl and asked her in her native tongue why she was pregnant. She was like, oh, you know, a, a, a naughty spirit got in me. And, he, and then in his head, he's like, oh, it's not because you're a fucking tramp. Like, <laughs> but they just they didn't fucking know. And yeah. then there were this there were these other people. I don't know where they are from, but they in springtime when they planted the crops, They'd have a big festival where everybody just fucked on all the crops. Oh, my God. And it was illegal for a man to have sex with his own wife during that festival. He had to fuck a rando and like other dudes had to fuck his wife. Okay, that's yeah, that's (laughs) that's pretty wild. That is wild. But it's interesting. Uh, I wonder how far I'd go if, if things were just culturally right. How far do you think you'd go? Would you like would we would you conform or do you think you would be able to think outside the box? Because I've. Thought outside the box in many ways, like with government stuff. Like I feel like, but gov- you've, but you know? you've had people laying out the breadcrumbs for you. Yeah, if you were born into a tribe of like thirty people in an isolated place in New Guinea, right, you would not be doing any of your own thinking. Yeah, probably not. You're right, but there are people that get out of that though and stuff. There, are, there are like stories of stuff like that, but it is pretty wild. Though. Yeah, I mean, but you're talking about people who they're in the 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 Mormon Church and yeah, they're in right. like a yeah. polygamous sect. Mm -hmm. And they hitchhike into town and they learn that you don't have to be fucking a polygamous sex slave. Mm -hmm. But like it it does make you think that like humans, there is no. So there we. Who's coming up? Is this rat dick? This is ready. (laughs) It seems so frivolous to launch into some discussion of human morality. Yeah. Human morality. Never learn about wearing your shoes in here. Yeah. Like, come on, bro. It wouldn't be a big deal, but they're always covered in dog shit. And you're on one right now. Yeah, you're drinking. Dude, take. uh, can you guys please respect the house? Austin, you've been banned from this house so many times. Or Uh, Rat Dick. Rat Dick, you've been banned from this house so many times, and you're never like, you know, I'll make an effort to do the things that they want us to do inside the house. So, uh, yeah, it seems it seems like you're really apologizing. He's apologizing, but it's like this. My bad, my bad. Okay, so it's... He's wearing the same clothing he was wearing on Saturday night. Just let RPP blow he NBA Mike. He hasn't changed. He was up for three days the last time I saw him. It's not he, good. He'd been up for three days. Now he's just going for the bathroom like he owns yeah, the place. Of course. I've never seen him like this before, Leo. I've never seen him on so many uppers. I think he's about to do drugs right now. His okay, brain. He, just, he is opening something in his fingertips. Yeah, he, dude, what the fuck, dude? No, he's doing a quote. He's doing a bump before the pod. You don't need a Red, bump. Guys, no, you don't need a bump. I, you can't tell him what to do right now, but because he's a, he's out of his mind, but he's been doing this for a while. And I'm going to tell him right now that he's 100%. He's on fentanyl probably, right? I mean, yeah. there's no way the Coke he's getting at these red or not, I don't know if we can even say any of this. Can we? Dude, you are out of control, Ratic. Whatever it, you're it, getting at these raves, it's it's laced with fentanyl, dude. And Ratic, for Leo and I going to bat for you last week, you're really right. not repaying us right now. You literally told us yesterday you were not going to do this, bro. Like, you really just suck, dog. I think you texted me yesterday. Actually, I have it. I know you texted me yesterday. I won't do any more drugs. Yeah. <laughs> Dude, you are a fucking fiend, Rat Dick. NBA oh. Mike, what do you think the move is, man? Do, Rat, do he- Rat Dick, he's got a credit card out. I'm not going to specify what he's doing, I but he's, he's it's shameless. Gotta- Cut the coke. It's the coke is dangerous. It's so dangerous in LA yeah. or anywhere really now. But dude, Ratik, especially are, that it's bad. You are like actually an animal now. Like you, your humanity is hanging by a thread. 
Rat dick. It smells all of a sudden, too. Do you guys it, smell that? Yeah, it's starting to smell really bad. What is shoes? that? Are those his shoes? Like, honestly? I think yeah, it might be. It's his no, shoes. That, that's crazy. Okay, Rat can you put the shoes you're outside, outside See, maybe? these are the kind of things I talk to you about, Rat dick. Why <laughs> would you just destroy a room with the odor from your shoes? Dude, like, Rat dick. Why, is that, why is that a thing? Why is that a thing? You're disgusting. I think it You've been to going to it. raves in those for three days, sweating up a storm. Then you come in here doing coke lace, probably with fentanyl. You want to die. And you think you're not going to die because you're the rat king? Dude, you're an idiot. You're going to die from doing fentanyl in coke for sure if you don't stop. Right, Dick, get your shoes the fuck out of here. Yeah, get them and throw them. Burn them. We should burn those outside right now. Those shoes are oh. done. <laughs> No, no, dude, no. Ratik, you're an Those idiot. Outside. Get the shoes out of here. Look, he's shaky, dude. He's not. Ratic. I don't think I, I could be wrong, but I don't think the audience is going to love this Ratik because because this Ratik, you just can't even have a conversation. There's no honesty. There's no introspection yeah. with this fucking Ratik we're getting. I think God Fez right. fucking clocked him in the face hard yeah. four times this weekend. Yeah. We did. Uh, that did happen, guys. Fez I thought clocked that him. in our intervention would have like done something. something i thought it would have done something i had a long conversation with radic for like no two guys hours. i think i said it's pointless dude and i, I thought we made some progress <laughs> yeah you're being, yeah, you're being super my respectful and you bring cocaine and now you're doing cocaine in my you, bathroom you, you're doing lines you're doing you lines in his bathroom that's really smell dude honestly I, I don't think you'll ever gonna have sex with anyone again dude probably yeah that's how bad you look i right i think it's 50 50 if radic ever gets laid again like, yeah because <laughs> it's getting to the point now where he's gonna get arrested any hour of any of day, any day yeah. and then that could lead to the downward spiral dude, Jeff's about to jail the street yeah. Yeah. fentanyl oh. meth yeah. Where I mean I'm not gonna say never dude, again. He's about to throw up from the oh, smell, <laughs> dude. There's no way. Bro, get Jeff, out, get him out. Him? Can you take him out, right? dude? You almost right. made a little immigrant right. man yeah, bar. Take him out, dude. Not a little. He's what not a little. He's very large. They, this is worse than the fart spray, dude. Dude, yeah, you gotta get that right, out. Dick, it's not, get, get the fucking, it out. Get it out. Get the fucking shoes get out. Get it out. out. Get the shoes out or you can't be on the podcast. Get it out right now. Get them out. You can't be on the podcast. Get the fucking shoes out of here. Get the shoes out of here. Then come back up. Let's go. Get the fucking shoe. No, don't put them on. Don't put them on. Put them outside. Don't pick them up and take them outside. You fucking asshole. Come back and and sit on the couch and listen. Dude, he is. Guys, listen. I mean, he's been wearing the same clothes for a week. Oh my god, that smells bad. You know, I didn't. I didn't. After Leo, after you and I so passionately advocated for Rat Dick last podcast yeah this is how he repays us dude it's not good man and uh you know it's just i feel like people that deal with drug addicts deal with this kind of stuff all the time i guess we gotta learn i have learned learn. i've learned recently because unfortunately there have been three come to mind right now addicts in my life lately Mm -hmm. who it doesn't matter how many hearts to hearts it doesn't matter how many times they say they will change to your face or over text it just doesn't matter if somebody is an addict and they don't want to change there's nothing you can do. It's kind of crazy because I feel like it's just uh, certain things. Certain things should reach someone. You know what I mean? Like certain things. Wait, wait a second. Tommy. Yeah, that's a huge question. Did you put them downstairs or outside? Outside? I can't tell if he smells or the shoe smell. Does he smell? My NBA mic. You're going to have to go in. Yeah, I'm sure it's the socks, too. Should we just pour some right, alcohol? Boys, so I had a good pod today. Or not yet, but what's up, guys? How you doing? Yeah, <laughs> yeah you're celebrating a yeah. little early, huh? Yeah. Uh, what's up, guys? Careful. Somebody's going to knock that football out of your hand before you cross the goal line. Where are you, Rat Pussy Pan? You coming back? RDR, listen. Okay, I'll see it. All right, see you, Rat Pussy. Why do you have a death wish? Let's just start with that. Wish, you have I've a death wish. I don't want to die. Yeah, you, if you don't want to die, then you, yeah, you, don't wanna die, then you can't be doing cocaine in LA from raves, dude. Are you, are dude, you stupid? There's so much coke. There's a big it's not kind of coke. It's coming from where me and Danny go to go to the border. Good call. Which anyone and Demarcated. anything can go just right in there, dude. It is for sure laced with fentanyl. You're going to take a little bit too much fentanyl one day and die. Like 150,000 people did last year, dude. No, no, yeah, but that's not going to happen, dude, because I am trust I trust my friend or the people there. Oh, yeah, you trust the people, people there. Right, Dick, I, 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 I think... I think the charm. Your friend, yes, correct. The guy that you. Those bought, are different friends. 
But now that Pops is, he's going to hit out on me. I just, I could be wrong, but I feel I like, hate out on me. I feel like rat dick under the influence. That's for you to do on your lives. I feel like this is not a good podcast, rat dick. This is a good podcast. I'll, 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 I'll chill out, bro. I, I just, I, I didn't tell you I was coming here. What? I don't think it's good. For Did you just tell me to chill out? Yeah, chill out. I need, okay, yeah. Uh, yeah, I'm the one who's too hyped up and crazy right now. Oh, I'm too hyped up and crazy. You just did so much blow, you fucking in denial bastard. Right. Rattic, like, do you do you not see the danger in doing what you're doing? Like, I don't understand. Like, wrap your head around it a little bit. You know, there's a lot of people dying from coke right now in yeah. L.A. Not really. Not I really. feel like the fentanyl overdose is just like the least of his problems. I feel like the problem is, Rattic, you when we saw you on Saturday night, you hadn't slept in three days. Well, you texted me in the morning. You were done doing drugs. Was that Thursday? Wait, wait. When did you mean on Saturday, right? Saturday, yeah. I party Thursday night, Friday night. I was up Saturday, so it was going on third night. You, and you also seem like you seem like Adderall. hyped that you've been ten Adderall pills. L- listen to me. You seem like you. Yeah, I saw you take a bunch of those. You seem like you're like you think you're 14. awesome because you've been going to raves. As if there's like any vetting process or it like takes any kind of status to get into a rave. You're paying to get in those raves. No, right? if you show up before midnight, it's free. <laughs> no, he not can't anymore. even show up not, before midnight. Not really. His, 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 Oh, so it's an exclusive club. I don't know. And you're into the bike, buddy. Used to be like that. Sometimes they say it's free, right, but I've into the, the bike, into the bike, buddy. I've been going to pay one. So, right, you've been you've been telling us you've been raving though. Like you think it's really cool, as yeah. if getting fucked up is an accomplishment. But the owner of the rave, I doxed her on accident because I was high on my live stream. Was really fucked. Was like, oh, I'll take a picture of your checklist. Like, into right. the mic and like, I actually showed her phone number and a bunch of my rat on the live stream saw it and they started saying, sp- "You can't say that." I said, "As like S word and." me up like Danny says don't me up I mean you guys figure it out but and uh uh they surprised said hundreds of that message I'm to really her surprised you and yourself, uh they sent a bunch of like just crazy stuff don't react back react Ralph back in the rave he's getting you're gonna get threatened threatened by a bunch of different messages rapey messages and I don't know why me. they're saying I'm gonna say it because I can say it and they why are they saying speak iPhone. me up what is this He's, a, he's Mexican. Yeah neighbor, I'm Mexican neighbor Eric <laughs> you're uh, shit neighbor I'm, Eric was Mexican Argentine and, Colombian so why okay either way Relax for a second. Raves are not that cool. Number one, impossible to pick up a girl at a rave. Because it's really it's hard. Just, it's just for It's drugs. actually, it's it's not impossible. But for you, it's impossible. It's hard as fuck. Yeah, so, yeah. Someone had nice eyes. I mean, but. Wow. No, you go After there. four days of raving. Everybody, 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 everybody. So, Rad Dick Ralph, you spent hundreds of dollars. Yeah. Taken probably a year or two off your life the last week. And for all of that, all you have to show is one girl said you have nice eyes, probably because you forced her to at knife point. Yeah. It's just a big, <laughs> and my memory's all hazy. Like, bro, like, I, I don't Let me know. Keep, I spent so much money on these rapes. Like, I think, great. please, into yeah. the mic. Into the mic. Put the earphones on so you can so hear your voice. Dude, you're, you're talking like an idiot. And, and I want to say to people, we are not so enabling the these fucking raves. We yeah. are anti these raves. Anybody who on this stream who's given them money to do coke, those people are enabling them to go to these raves. Someone sent me $250 to do an eight ball. Yeah, I bet. Now, I have a better idea for you. How much did you spend on the old cocaine the other night you told me? Which night? $400, right? I spent, I, I spent like... In the uh, last week, how much have you spent? Like 600 bucks on coke. Probably. All right. Uh, uh, go, uh, Austin, go to aeros.com. I don't know if you could show this on the screen or not. It's, it's an bucks. escort site. Okay. okay. Like 750 Eros? bucks. E R O S dot com. Check this out. Yeah, you can be getting the good, uh, good friend of the channel, the serial killer guy. Yeah. He's the one that told, well. yeah, he's the, you know, he's the one that told us, told me about Who's this. the serial killer the guy? guy that travels around, guy, you know? Right? Oh, okay. <laughs> yeah. All right. So look at all <laughs> these girls. Ratic, look at, look at the girls. <laughs> you see this? They would all give you half an hour for 400 bucks. What do they do? They fuck you? Yup. Damn, your O's. Instead, like you everything. used your money, your hard-earned streamer money. Instead oh, of no. having sex with a hottie, which keep you on, you could actually there, there are you can really pick a hottie, dude. So after the whole Indica thing, I went to a um uh, what's it called a, a Chinese process trying to get fucked. I told you I'm gonna fuck somebody else. This is fuck. image three oh three. I don't know why they don't off. have the names. I asked but they her to usually fuck. do. That's online you could fuck. And I got there and they, she didn't want to fuck. And you can just wait, wait, wait. Afterwards. You got rejected by a prostitute? Yeah. Well, yeah. Yeah, she probably smelled his feet. Wait, wait, expl- <laughs> explain this in detail. This is interesting. So I go to, I look up on bed page, places to fuck. I'm looking, I found a place close to me. It was like a hundred bucks. I'm like, oh, maybe go to the Inland Empire, but I'll go here instead. And I go, this is massage part. He pulls up, I'm like, give me the money. And she's like, you really need this? we go get a sandwich first. <laughs> I don't really eat the sandwich. I just, she gives me the money. I walk in and it's a, I, it says massage outside. So I'm kind of like, oh fuck, is this, this is a massage bar. I hope it's not just a massage bar. And I go in there and 
this like Asian lady. It seems kind of legit with the Asians. I walk in the side and this Asian girl comes out like, I'm like, yo, what's up, babe? I start grabbing her ass. I'm like, yo, we're going to fuck right now. Like, we get naked. She's like, no, just lay down. Spoiler, it was a massage envy. Yeah. And it was a legitimate <laughs> business. Yeah. It was actually was little, yeah. And she's like, no, just lay down. I'm like, no, I'm, we're going to fuck. I'm like, you grabbed her ass yeah. right when she walked yeah. out. What like, were you on? What was that? I think it was a Molly that night. Uh, Dude, think, like, that's sexual assault. You know yeah, that, right? And then, and then she like, says, if, if, if for some reason that wasn't a, a happy ending place, you know that that's sexual assault, right? Yeah, and probably. But then she, I, I say, hey, like, hey, do you want to? I'm like, I'm like, she's like, you want, you want, I'm like, yeah, yeah. Like, how much the fuck? She's like, 100, how much money you have? I'm like, I have 40 more because it costs 60 to get in. And then I had 40 in her pocket. And she's like, how much? She, that's 100 more. I'm like, it says online 100 to fuck. Yeah, obviously that that's only the tip, obviously. You think it would include the massage rate? Yeah, I fucked up, huh? So could you have gotten a hand job though? Or did yeah, she, she gave me a hand job. She, oh, fucking, she did give you a hand job. Yeah, she started. That, well, I was like, she's like, you want handy? And so she gives me handy. I'm like, I start fucking like she's wearing she's wearing some, like start put touch her pussy. And she's like, no, Poor no, woman, no. Dude. No. <laughs> like, Poor woman. She, a woman. She, you take too long. You take too long. Like did you wear your minutes. shoes off in that place? Be honest. Yeah. Oh. And so that, I just start jacking myself. I'm like, no, baby, that's okay. I started, I'm like, I'm so I start to come and she, she grabs me and I'm like, shut I up. Come. I don't need to know and this. Like, and I'm like, oh, I start grabbing her. I'm grabbing her ass the whole time. It's fucking. Weren't you hey, live man, streaming this? The, uh, I did live stream it too. Oh, great. That's, that's yeah. great. Well, the, the happy ending here is the real happy ending is that that woman finally got her legitimate massage license afterwards. Correct. Because that was the last straw. Okay. <laughs> Welcome to America. Yeah. I would say, uh, <laughs> Radic, let, let me just, just go oh, through this God. real quick I, for you. I could have fucked that bitch. Let's say you I felt bad afterwards. Let's say you don't want your feet to smell like absolute shit where basically anybody that's around you is just <laughs> disgusted by you because of the smell. Do you, would you, maybe there's a way to kind of escape that. They weren't this bad on fucking. Do you want to go, do you want to know what it is? Okay. So you get a little tool to just get the shit out from under your nails, right? The the, the blackness that's probably in Should we look at his toes? Or? I can, We cannot have him take My the socks My fingernails like rotting. They're all black. What would weird. happen if he took his socks we, off? Like I, too. Fez would throw up. I have the smelling salts. I can hold them up to my... Dude, I, think, I can't look at it. I don't know. Maybe the chemicals in the Coke, probably. What the chemicals the in the Coke. Your lack of sleep. Like falling off. They're black. They're Ratic, foggy. Dude, his fingernails are falling off. Dude, Ratic, this is... Let me see. This one's really bad, but... This they're all, all kind of like that. I slept last night. Last night, my hands were hurting so bad. Right, I went to is, sleep for six hours. Is this, is, is this it? Not a good time. Is, 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 is this a suicide mission? Yeah, nah, bro. No, I was, I was getting lit. And oh, yeah. You were you just getting lit. Dude. Because the it's parties totally go from normal. Thursday to Monday. So I was trying to party at every single rate from Thursday to Monday. Yeah, you, just because there are places to get fucked up doesn't mean you have to go. Let me, I had a bad experience. I, so I, I left you guys. Ratic, listen. Ratic, it seems like you're trying to finally do it this no. time. Yeah, like it's going to be guys, jail or death. You guys are all telling me you're going to die. You're going to die. I left you guys at bar, to bar, at bar still at fucking 5 a.m. I'm like, I need to go to this raving. She's all falling asleep. I'm like, no, just don't stop. I need to go. I need to go. I need to go. I need to go some Coke. I'm trying to party. Leo, give me money. I'm trying I have money for Coke. Let's go. I have money for the rave. Let's go. She's just falling asleep. No, baby, have to go. So we go. And she kind of like pulls over a little bit. She gets a Red Bull and we go. And then we get to the rave and I just can't really party. I'm like, I go try to dance. I do some Coke. I'm just like, I'm not really feeling it. I'm like, I can't dance the same. I didn't have the same energy as I did, but can so you, I just go sit down. This is a good story. Just, just go like this is like just that. This is a good story. Ratic, this, yeah. you've, been del- you've been doing this to us. Look, I'm going to try to put it in a different way. Hey, Ratic, man. I went to the Dodger game today, man. Like, I'm going to the Dodger game again tomorrow night. Going to the Dodger game? Yeah, man. And then the next night after that, I'm going to go to the Dodger game again. Damn, bro. That's, but, so, Ratic, on Monday night or Sunday night, you said you were- Coke at the Dodger game. You, you were low energy. Yeah, I was so low energy, but it sucked. And I was just, like, doing Coke back there. And, like, there's people, there's a lot of gay dudes just staring at me. Like, the whole time I noticed that. I'm like, what the fuck, dude? You got probably sexually assaulted. The, it, was, it was actually probably just straight guys who were like, who the fuck is this? Probably. And why does it smell so bad? Right yeah. There's people coming to there. No, they were saying the same thing. They were like, oh, you're here for three nights in a row, bro. Are you okay? Whatever you're going through is going to be okay. I'm like, I'm fine. Yeah. And everybody must have it wrong. There's, and you must have it right. people said that. Like, yeah. oh, you're going to be okay. Don't worry about right, it. I'm just here partying. So when are you going back to the rave? I want to go tonight because the people, yes, the Ukrainian owner, she stole my fucking iPhone because yeah. they are dogs and she searched my iPhone. What's your iPhone Rat passcode? Dick, I'm going to tell you. Well, uh, wait, uh, well, let's see what his plan is. So you're yeah, going no, back yeah, tonight. Right. You want to party tonight? Yeah, but Pete doesn't want to, but I want to go back tonight. And if I gave you, iPhone, what if I just gave you like 200 bucks bro. every single day? Would you just keep going to bro, the rave? Fuck yeah, dude. And then do you think, how do you think it would end if you went to the rave and did an eight ball every I'm night? I'm so respecting the fucking Yeah, dude. yeah, oh. yeah. You'd really make a name for yourself. And I do whippets. I'm going to whip a lot whippets too. So you think you could just go on every night of your life if you wanted to? How long do you think it would last? Uh, 
well, after hours is every day, but you know, yeah, after hours too. I was starting to hear like, you know, when you do a whip it and you do it because I learned how to do it. You, you take it in, you know, now you're you getting off topic in the balloon, and then you see like a ringing and you're like, ooh, ooh, I kind of yeah. hear that ring all the time. Now. Okay, like, so they're, so they're I did, starting I did to a whip it to like, I told you about to pass out. Can we call the cops? Sunday right night, now? no, no, but I, I, I was standing, I felt myself. It's like, the only way to say it's like from killing himself. Whoa. You're that was the, the first time I did a whip. I've ever met in my life. But and it's shocking me, how you're just going to kill yourself. So you're an idiot. You're an idiot. Rats, you're an idiot. When all of you're your friends idiot, are yeah. telling you that you are going to fucking die. Like, bro, it's I've not because one we're just trying to ruin think, your partying, bro. I had a really rough week I, too I, last week. You were working you hard. You were working hard. If you were a gambling man, how long would he? How many more raves until he dies? I think he's going to jail before he dies. But death is not out of the question because of the quality of the drugs you're doing. They're probably so low, dude. Well, I've been had a rough week with like. Rap pussy Pam and Indica last week. You know, yeah. you with, this is a good way to handle your problems. With, uh, right. NBA, like when you had like, a bad game on the like, court, you, you went to a rave for well, five nights in a row doing blow. Yeah. What I was kind of four hours late to pick up you. Were you using when you were, you know, what, when you're sad, NBA Mike, what do you do? Uh, like if you missed a rebound. <laughs> you got to uh, partake in a, you got to like take it easy sometimes. Maybe you do take some barbiturates on the weekends and stuff. Sure. Nice. Well, it's back, funny. Barbiturates would be like responsible compared to this. Right, of course. Let's say uh, you get back and then you do better, though. You do better. There's a there's a plan to to stop that and then make yourself better. And then right. There's a, there's a cycle to it, but his just just seems like it's going down. It's going down, man. So Ratic, where do you do you, you're gonna go to this rave this week more? Um, uh, rave tonight because the Ukrainian lady stole my fucking phone to search it. So it was doxing her. I said, it wasn't me. I was my fans. I promised uh-huh. you. I was an accent. I didn't mean to dox you. She's like, oh, I'm not coming to podcast no more. Yeah, like, yeah. Do I come to the podcast, baby? Like, is we good? Yeah, but this is, all her, this is all her fault, right? She's being unreasonable. Mm-hmm. Well, somebody scammed my fucking Venmo for $50 today. So I think she's oh, hacked my shit. That's dude. three more nights of partying, dude. It's a rough week. What did you? <laughs> oh, Vivi. I feel like you probably, you guys probably he, fell he for to the... get inside. Shit. Shut yeah, up. get her up here so we can hear what you're, you've actually been doing. Dude. Yeah, he's gonna get your woman. Oh my god, did you did you see Fez wave him off and be like, I got you. Get her, Fez. Hey, hey, get her, Fez. And Fez, get her. Drop dead, Jed. He gave my pussy Pam a massage. They were Fez kissed Thrap Pussy Pam this weekend. He's also very racist, more racist than me. Do you want to hear what he said? Not really. Uh, What did he say? He said Emmy Mike is a is a good white person in a black man's body. (laughs) I was like, even Rapper Sam was like, that is pretty racist. I was kind of like, fuck. I was so like, I was like, and then Rapper Sam was like, fuck, you can't say that. I was like, he was farting on everybody all night. I was like, "Fuck." Yeah, I don't like the fart stuff. I cool. really don't like the fart cool. stuff. I don't like but the comedy made toward NBA. That cool. to the, it sucks that to, that black, like fuck a black guy that's educated. People want to call you white, dude. <laughs> Any, so anytime, <laughs> just never seen a black guy outside of the stereotypical, right? I don't know, whatever it is. Yeah, yeah. yeah. yeah it NBA is, not be it is interesting way. because, like, talking "quote unquote" black is not necessarily correlated with intelligence like i've been listening to shannon sharp's podcast a lot super smart guy but talks quote unquote ghetto so like there are choices but but, uh, that black men have when it comes to how they speak and uh yeah it's it's interesting that drop dead jed can't handle right uh, somebody who speaks english yeah i mean it's called english now you have the choice to speak like nba mike or wide neck who you choose? I'm going with Wide Neck. I'm sorry. I It'd be fun. It. It'd be I fucking absolutely fun. Absolutely love the way. If we play. were black, would we oh. talk like Wide Neck or NBA? Wide Neck. <laughs> yeah. I'd, 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 NBA Mike. I'm sorry. I'm going with Wide Neck. When I I'm got drunk or whenever I was playing a sport, I would talk like Wide Neck. Mm-hmm. And then when I got off the court or sobered <laughs> up, I would talk like NBA. Hey there, that's kind of that's the perfect mix. I think that's how it is because that's that's how like a lot of athletes are. I feel like yeah. like Richard Sherman was like that. Yeah. Okay, so Ratzik just did coke on the podcast. Austin, did you did see you that? Do- Coke on the podcast? I thought he was just wiping his face. No, he's yeah. doing fucking. Can you cut that, Austin? Yeah. Can you? Can you? Right, you're a fucking away. idiot, dude. You're a fucking idiot. You know what, dude? There's only you, only something. Only more punishment's gonna help you. So I mean, Fez is gonna be all up all up on your girl. Yes, you did. Yeah, that's why I said something because I saw you doing fucking coke. I really filmed you doing it. I thought. Danny, you what do you think about RPP on Fez's lap on that uh, on that chair over there? Okay, so so right now, right, Dick, you're you're being a terrible podcast. <laughs> okay, I'm sorry, I mean, you're you're being. I was abusing so, my power. So if, my power, if we had to cut that, you, it's, it's because Rat Dick was just doing drugs openly I on the you couch. Liked me, like, come on. I'm not even I, I do. I, I was a big advocate, but the thing is, I thought, so, I thought you liked me come on the fucking. I, I do, but I show but, and but get do, high. Yeah, yeah, I love it. <laughs> I love it when you're just doing massive amounts of Class A narcotics, <laughs> like 
disrespectfully on the couch. That's exactly what I like when you do. Have you been hitting dabs at all? Uh, well, I went to the sash and these fucking yeah, he hasn't done well, the, the dabs. Ra- what? You haven't been on the dabs at all. Uh, they fucking it's like a problem. I kind of yeah. took a bunch of weed in there and, and they said to bring money and they kind of I was so high a bunch of those kind of took it from me and like and like fucking they took my wax and shit and like I was so high I was just like fucking letting it happen but I was like oh, it's like, oh. it was like I think you're just not even talking to the mic. Yeah, it's all gone. Yeah, it's all gone. Dude, really, got right now, he, fuck, though. he told me the story. He got jumped by like six dudes at the same time. And they oh, were, I also uh, got shit. jumped by friends. Yeah, that sold me coke, and they, 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 um, I was like, my buddy Webster sold me coke. He's ripping me off all the time, and like, he's like, hey, come back here. I got one for you. And I came back, and pop, uh, I'm not gonna say his name, but. And, and, and these guys beat the shit out of you because you were. I heard you That's were live streaming got. a drug deal. I heard yeah. you live streamed a coke deal, and then you were confused Correct. why the guys had. So, Rattic, it seems like you are aren't able to understand why we are a little irritated that you came in here doing drugs. It seems like you're blaming this Ukrainian well, woman for getting can't for do drugs. She's all cut me off. Okay, that's not what I'm Bullshit. point I'm making. You're mad at this Ukrainian lady for cutting you off from the rave after you doxed her number and probably did countless other bad things at her rave. You're mad at these six vatos who you fucking put on blast to the stream while lost, they were selling you drugs is it everybody else's fault or do you take any personal responsibility I, I, it was my fault though, so i was being such an idiot to bring in there and just be like like smoke they were just like, grabbing it I'm like, what, what's going on this bad. is this I'm is like, performance art the not using the microphone on the podcast i can't grab my like, fucking weed i can't grab my weed back like, it, i'm so Danny, high it's almost like sitcom and, uh, it's not a big level. deal but it's, i was my fault his life is a sitcom like he took all the weed that he that brought nice. out here that was like given to him by fans, he took it to an illegal oh, yeah. Yeah, marijuana yeah, business, oh. and they thought, just took it all from him immediately yeah. while he was live streaming it. Yeah, like what an idiot! Can you but, give Can you give the mic to your woman? Yeah, uh, yeah. It's time to for you to stop talking for a while. You know, this is bullshit. I've been getting a text to speech, and only, you know, one for one dollar, you only get forty eight fucking cents, bro. I made like maybe, I would have four hundred dollars a day. I got like. Yeah, two hundred bucks. Bullshit. Yeah, when you're Bullshit. on a when you're on a D tier streaming site because you've been banned from the rest, you have right. to take those deals. Yeah, that's right. So can we talk to RPP? Yeah. RPP, hey are you, how how are you associating with Rat Dick in this state? I'm just trying to be here as a caretaker. Caretaker. Uh-huh. <laughs> yeah, at this point. Do you think that's what he needs an enabler right now? I, which is you know that's kind of hypocritical for me to say because we've got him on the podcast right now i, I think that. we're all enabling him. i think so too but th- i feel like it's reached a new level i feel like this is right like Dick's he needs bottom. yeah this is his bottom this is your intervention buddy i think uh rat, Do you rat guys po- have the rat cage that today so no, fucked no, up. you cannot kick me him. off the podcast like what the fuck? if you come like this Why next week you can't be week? on it bro i'm sorry i know i understand what came up like but you I mean, can't be on it next week. Give, uh, I was so mad at you guys. The video. When's that video gonna drop? Though? Okay, so now. I was so mad at you guys. So quit, punched, quit, you know, quit stealing NBA's. Punch Mike. NBA Mike. You did not punch I, NBA I, Mike. I'm sure there would have been consequences. You punched Fez, and there were consequences I, for that. I'll punch, I punch because video, Fez I struck you. you this is again going off mic. We're, we're not talking to you talk. right now. I know it's hard for you to be silent with the drugs coursing through your system. RPP, or what are you on right now? Nothing. How do you how? How do you not lose your fucking mind? I do uh-huh. lose my mind. But you're but yet you but came I, here. I with know him. how to I, like de-escalate. Are you afraid own. of him dying? Yes. Because he's this is the worst I've seen him. And I, I don't understand why. I, I think you go police station in no, your phone right no, now and sure. just walk yourself. I think, you sure. I think you just go to the police station and turn yourself in. Actually, you know what you should do is go to a nice one somewhere. Maybe look up where there's a nice one. Yeah, you should go to Newport Beach yeah. and turn yourself in. Dude, if you were a Newport Beach jailbird, oh Come man, on. you could probably see the local community college the jail bars. Like I told Leo, it's inevitable. But no, take her mic. Take her mic. It's not going to happen. Take her mic. Like I told Leo, it's not. It's inevitable, but it's not going to happen. It's inevitable. He likes that he it's used, inevitable, he but it's not going to happen. No, that's, that's really it's in Temple Neck. You, that's not true. <laughs> no, no, right now. Okay, inevitable so means it's I, bound I like to how you, you pass the mic away, then you start talking. Why can't I use any mics too? Because See that's the new third mic. That's disrespectful to NBA. Okay. Okay. okay, you're very you know, paranoid. <laughs> that somebody replacing you. <laughs> yeah, sorry. <laughs> My buddy has a, a, a brother who's a drug addict, and he said they, he saw him in a state like this one time, and and he chained him up uh, to the like at the back room, and then um. He just, he couldn't help, he wouldn't sleep, and he would just kept yelling, and he wouldn't sleep because of the, you know, the uh, withdrawal. I'm really interested in what's going to happen to you when you're, you're going through withdrawals. Like, when you can't do drugs for a couple of days, you're, yeah, you're going to be in a bad place. 
Yo, let's talk into the microphone. Into the mic. Cocaine. Side effects. Um, you know, jaw grinding, sleeplessness, and an inability to use microphones. Those are the side effects of cocaine. Retic, I just usually I like start drinking really. I I think everybody fell in love with you on this new Retic stint. Everybody loved that you were like, ah shucks, I'm doing wild stuff. Like ah shucks, Red Pussy Pam and I. What adventures do we get into? (laughs) That's what we loved. But right now, it's it's just like sad. It's not. Yeah, your fan that your your rat diggers once again, who the ones that kind of want to ruin your life. You know, they want to call the police and all that. And they want to buy you cocaine because they know this is going to happen, man. And uh, this is what they want. But uh, the real fans, the ones of the podcast, they just want you to smoke a dab every now and then. So you're chill and and maybe let RPP, you know, have some fun with Fez and stuff like that. They want that. They do want that. Yeah. Oh, no. <sighs> Trey Cyrus was a big fan of you. It'd be, it'd, it'd Miley like, Cyrus is my fan. Well, no. Her, Trey Cyrus. With her brother. No, no. Miley does too. Yeah. Miley is probably no. a fan of yours. He's told her about but Rack you Rack. know that Trace wanted to give you 700 bucks, but then he looked into his DMs <sighs> and he saw that you wrote him saying you're going to bang Miley. Did I say that? Yeah. yeah. I think I did say if that. he wants to... He's trying yeah. to bang a pop I think, star. I think I reached out to him at one point. That's, that's what I said. Yeah, it yes, sounds like you reached you out to him. I did. I did that, to him. That's one says, way to put it. He's no longer going to give you the 700. So RDR, I just, I'm worried now that, I, I, said that. I know I joked last week that the house was burning down and a propane pe- tank might blow. I was sort of joking. I mean, I realized that was a possibility, but now it seems like a propane tank is very close to igniting and sending you to jail or to the morgue. And I'm a little worried now. And I think <laughs> this is no longer amusing and that maybe you should stop this bender. Yeah. Because it is this bender that's bringing you down right now. Yeah, bro. Yeah, you're like, probably right. Ben, like, I, I don't binge like this since 2020. You can't be on the pod next week if you're like this at all. Really? Yeah, you're going to have to FaceTime me before I'm going to see how you're doing. Really? Yeah. That's crazy. Honestly, uh, right now, this but, is sad, bro. We're going to lose you. You're going to die if you continue down this road. And, and uh, honestly, bro, like... Doing that to all your the people around you, like, is you don't care about yourself at all. Clearly, you don't care about your body. You don't care about what goes in your body. You don't care about it at all. There's some demons inside you that you must crush. There's some demons that you must crush. Whatever that is, sexy and staying through the fucking ladies, like sexy, more pussy. Yeah, you're you're gonna get skinny (laughs) right now. You're gonna get fucking skinny. That cocaine diet. That's what I do. That no sleep, no food, lots of cocaine diet. I know. Yeah, that I know. Well, Rat Pussy Pam, a girl said he had nice eyes at the rave. Yep. So, I mean, this guy's a regular George Clooney these days. Yeah, Four days. <laughs> Dude, I, you know what I would do, Rat Dick? If I went out, if I was like, fuck it, I'm fucking going on vacation. I'm going to Ibiza for a week. If I went out four days on a pussy hunt and the most I got was a compliment on my eyes, I would drown myself in the ocean. <laughs> really? I would Man. just go out there. I'd swim out to a uh, yacht and be like, hey, can I borrow your anchor line? And I would that thing would be around my neck and I'd be on the bottom. And then, you know, and you're you're well, saying no. this in front of RPP, you're clearly like, are you using her just to survive? No, but we've been stuck in this relationship. For, we've been stuck. 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 <laughs> stuck. No, admit no. it, dude. We, we, admit we, we, it. No. Okay, we, no, I love you. No. Yeah, we love each other. It's hard to like love somebody. Like, <laughs> let him go. Talking in the mic. <laughs> it's hard to love somebody. Let him go. Yeah, no, it's like. I, I know what you're talking about, Red Dick. And the time has come to end the relationship, but you can't do it. Well, you especially can't do it because you don't have a bank account. Yeah. 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 Like, wow. Yeah. yeah. Dude, it's, it's sad, man. We're going to lose you to these drugs. You're, you're going to die. You probably. said I can't go on the podcast on Monday, so I have to like sober up a little. It's like you're more concerned about that than your own life. Like, yeah, it's like anybody who has been around people who do drugs, because I know like literally probably like eight people that have overdosed and died. It's like, this is what happens. This is the right. crash out. Right. And anyone who has experience with this thing can see the warning signs from like a million miles away. And then everybody's mad at everybody when you die because we didn't do enough. You know what I mean? But I don't know what we can do except Pretty much call the me. cops no. on him. No. No. Taken, we got to call the cops on no, him. Wait a second. Out, bro. It just dawned on me. It's the only option, it's Danny. The only it's the only option. responsible That's option. I'm doing it. So I'm doing it. Get violent on your cocaine. <laughs> Danny will, he doesn't want to touch you, but you will choke him out if he attacks Oh, I'm volunteered for this. I have to make physical contact. I, Actually, I I'm say, injured. Go ahead and call. Go ahead and call. Don't call you're going to die if I don't call him. Yeah, I'm not. I didn't want the cocaine. Stop. You're going to die if I don't call him. Stop. Stop. Are you done with the coke? Yes. Give me the coke from your pockets. Give it to him. Dude, you, that, the fentanyl might oh, transmit through oh, the bag. I'd be careful, Leo. It Put him. it in the toilet. Yeah, Throw you should have rethought that. Put it down the toilet. Just put it right here. 
Right, Dick? No, don't. don't Here's well, a test, right, Dick. Pocket. Can you yeah. flush that down the toilet? Can, this, you're Gollum right now. Ooh, you're fucking yeah. Bilbo. You're Bilbo. I'm Gandalf. Flush yes. it. Give me the ring, Bilbo. Go flush it. He's going to jump in the I'm not going to call the cops if you throw your Coke away. In the toilet. Fez, go in there. Make sure he throws it away. In the toilet. Make sure he doesn't do it. I he's doing it. I think he's going to do it. He's going to do it. Don't. Just th- Fez, watch him dump it in the you toilet. You don't even do coke. Yeah, yeah, Fez, go watch him dump it in the toilet. Fez, no. hop keto. Gummer, Bring out the hop keto if that doesn't wind up in the toilet. And then, uh, Radic, you don't even do coke. Are you okay? Is it, can you close it? You don't even do coke. Fez's hand is hurt a little bit from decking Radic right. this weekend already. It's going to be in the new video. We're just chilling right now. I, whatever happens in there is it's going to be drug and usage. Fez, come back here and get a. You know. It's going to be less flush and more. So, uh, yeah, I just it would be nice if Ratic could get back to that glide he was on where he was making streaming yeah. money. He was doing wild stuff, but it was in a controlled way. Control has been lost. He hangs out in card shops all day. You think he doesn't know sleight of hand magic tricks, dude? He's, when you pretend you flush something and pocket it, Fez is going to get that. Fez, come sit next to RPP. Uh, Ratic, go sit on that. Go take a break on that. On that. No, Fez is going to sit there. Ratic, sit on that chair and take a break until Fez comes. He has to be on the couch for five minutes, and then you can come back. Fez, sit on the couch. Are you are you getting mad because we don't accept your fake cocaine flush? Because we see through your fake cocaine flush, we're the assholes. Fez, you think he has it? You think he has it? He definitely has it. Ratic, sit on that chair right there. Fez. Sit down. I didn't keep my <laughs> a little... Then why are you so... De- oh, okay. That's a dollar. <laughs> I would have been unbelievable. Then why are you so defensive? <laughs> okay. So, Fez, sit down. We're going to talk to you. So, right Fez, dick, sit down. Sit down. Right, Dick, you're on the bench right now. You're in the dunce cap. There. You're in the corner. Go here. Go this way. Go this way. Go ahead. Be careful. Now... Um, just to to make it to make it obvious on the podcast that if you do drugs like that guy, this guy can take your chick. Yeah, yeah, you did, Fez. Oh, wait, you, he did, and he, he will did again. And he will he, again. Yes, right. Yeah, sit down. Take your Modelo. Go over there. Sit down. Now, when you look at now, stop. Sit down. Now, when you look at RPP, look at RPP, Fez, in the eyes. RPP, look at Fez in the eyes. <laughs> you guys. Uh, all right, you guys did kiss. You know, okay. Yeah. What we kind did. Of sad, do you guys feel like there is some kind of connection when you guys look at each other? Look at each other again. Good yeah, friends. Yeah, I, I, feel, I feel it too. I originally With didn't benefits. think that was going to be her type because I know she wants somebody oh. who can party. And I know she's a music <laughs> artist, so I never thought in my life oh. that I could be, wow. you know, Mango like that. Yeah, yeah, why, why don't you sing her a couple, uh, a couple bars of whatever uh, you'd no. like? Sing some Gloria Trevi. <laughs> yeah, sing <laughs> some Luis Miguel or some Gloria. Te- Come I don't, on, I don't know. Any- oh wait, yeah, yeah you do. Gloria, yeah, I'm a big fan. No, yeah, sing, okay, uh, hey, sing, sing Gloria Trevi as hard as you can right now. Come on, I don't. I you guess, can, yes, you can. Look it up on your phone. Can I can I get some uh, lyrics? Oh, you want lyrics? How about yeah. some uh, some karaoke? Let's get a karaoke yeah. version of this song. Yeah, but it I'll, might be I'll tough if it's copyrighted. It's going to be tough though. So just the lyrics, yeah, Austin. Just, just the lyrics, lyrics Austin. Yeah. What's the name of the song in Spanish? Uh, Con I los ojos it. cerrados. Which one do you want? Oh yeah. Uh, Which one's good? Con los ojos cerrados. Este hembra es oh, mala. That's the one I told you the first time. What esa esa hembra? All right, we're losing oh, interest in this unless we can pull pull up the lyrics. Just el the lyrics. Suelto, yeah. Just the lyrics, Austin. You know, el, 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 el. This we should not. P e l l. Why are we? Oh, there it is. Why are we searching? On, why are we searching it on YouTube? It's oh, sorry, like I don't know. I'm gonna get the lyrics. You're just gonna get the lyrics and put it's it on not silent. Play the audio. Okay. Yeah. 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 Okay, really let it let it go go crazy with it. Yeah, okay. put it on mute. We're good. I'm bad, but you guys. Doesn't so. matter. Sing with your heart. There we go. Oh, it's in the key of D major. I'm gonna get uh A mí me gusta andar de pelo suelto. Me gusta todo lo que si me estario me gusta. Ir siempre contra del viento, dice Blanco. Que los Diego Negro a la gusto de andar a pelo suelto, aunque me ven. 
Siempre corre redes. Me gusta todo lo que es sincero. Y soy el rey. Y no tengo reverso. Ok. <laughs> Uh, Rap Pussy Pam, would you be interested in kissing Fez after that? There you go. The least of which Ratik, yeah. I imagine. Is Ratik, if you had to kiss every guy in this room, would Ratik be your last choice right now? Into the mic if you don't mind, Rap Pussy. Can you... Would it be the last person? Yeah, can you... Yeah, he hasn't been the nicest, and I'm there trying to, like, save him, and... Mm -hmm. I'm just He's looking at the absolutely worst. Yeah, like looking around this room right now, it seems to me pretty clear cut that Rat Dick would be like the least kissable person for you. Yeah. Which is weird. So because... We haven't kissed in like days. He just said something about his dick. Well, his charm just doesn't stop. What is okay? okay just a quick yeah, yeah, snapshot yeah. of this these last couple of weeks. Just how many fights have there been? I miss I I don't even know. There's been at least like 10 fights a day. Jesus. Dude, it's yeah. not even but under, it's because he like an... starts them. Mm. Some of those got to be pretty. Shh. Oh, whose fault is that? Ratik said, said that. Whose that fault is that? RPP <laughs> saw him so texting Indica. I was like, partying, like searching my phone. I'm like passed out. I'm falling asleep. I'm streaming. I'm like, Genius. Trying to like pass out, she and like, searched my phone. and she searched my. I've been like, cheating, but like, she's fuck. the searcher. She's the nosy one. It's her fault. Right? She's a bitch. Why yeah. Is this my fucking, do you want to get mad? His like, his logic. I, logic I just want to know if I could trust you. The well, logic is just gone. Did you? I mean, I, I, there's no I gotta trust. ask RPP. It, we're getting to the point now, though, where you got to be like, okay, I'm the the person who's still in this relationship after all this. How many times do you have to get so hit sad. in the head with the brick? You know. Rat dicks well, that brick. Last night, I, was, I like well, left like, the car and I'm so like, uh, just leave me here. Like, I, I can't do this anymore. Yeah. I got an idea for you. I think you should take a little cross country trip and just leave him at his mom's house. <laughs> and just oh, should do that. Or you just leave him in the rat cage that we have down in the basement. That's what I was thinking. Just yeah. lock it. Just lock just the lock key in it. there. Give him food and water. Yeah. It's not like he's going to call the cops yeah. on you. Yeah, That's he wouldn't. True. Yeah, he wouldn't. But Rat Pussy, it's, it's so strange oh, because you present so sober and so like put together. But at the same time, you've been at the raves with him this whole week. I know, but I do shit in moderation. No, no. Like four nights in a row? No. I've only been there for two days. And then the other twice, I slept in the car outside. Damn, you just take this motherfucker to go do fentanyl and, yeah. and, and make girls uncomfortable on the dance floor. Which, yeah. you know, sometimes it happens, but I feel like it's happening at a greater rate with Rat Dick than for the average rat. I mean, I don't make know. sure if, he's not, like, dead. I, his dancing that he showed me, it looked demonic, dude. It looked it looked disgusting, dude. Look at him, look at him. Look at him. This is how he dances. I, I would Someone call Animal Control. said that I'm possessed by him. You probably are. It's There are a lot of people. So that, it sounds like there's a lot of, like, psychologists at this rave. Yeah. Like, a bunch of guys surrounded him and said, you'll get through this, dude. Somebody said that you're possessed by him, which is a yeah. really, like, astute way to put it. You sort of are possessed by Ratic, aren't you? So. Like, yeah. you cannot leave this guy despite just ungodly levels of disrespect. Now, I could see you and Fez having a little house out, you know, in the middle of maybe Arkansas next to his mom, having a pretty good life out there. Fez would take care of, like, the land. You guys should say you're Italian in case any racists are on the block, though. He could say you're Italian. Yeah. He's working on his diet, too. He's going to be quite the looker in no time. He is going to. I think if I were to leave, I wouldn't want to be in a relationship for a very long time. Sure. So, yeah. would, you, would he become the new rat, Nick Ralph? He fucks rap, pussy, bam? Or, or would he become to, the new Eric? Would Ratic still be here to fucking be like, oh, you know, be like, they're, they're fucking now. Well, Ratic, it's unfortunate, but like one of these raids. Is he going to steal my so, fucking position? Gonna, That's why I, I saw him, you guys all hug him and shit. I'm like, damn, this guy's taking my spot. I well, taking my spot. No, you're you're going to pass out at a rave and they're going to take you in and they're going to take your little fingerprints. That's why I fucking was all they're going to take your little fingerprints, buddy. And then guess what? You're Where you're going. I'll take your fingerprints, dude. There was cops that raided the other rave. I just walked out. County, dog. Walked out. Go to I, go I to scale and a Coke in my pocket. Go to Newport Beach. <sighs> why find the local jail. He's got a scale. Why do you have a scale? I, 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 he's been ripped off. <laughs> Red Dick, you don't want to him off. I'm gonna go buy a fucking like, scale and he's yeah. trying to sell me a, 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 a What you talking about? That's a gram, motherfucker. That's a gram. 
I fucking I, I need my right weight, bro. Dude, it's, I, I only have two there are grams. Like, there are drug dealers. Them, there right? are drug right. dealers setting new personal best records for yeah. how much they're stepping on their product when Rat Dick walks through. Hey guys, I found this guy. I sold him half a gram for an eight ball price. Fuck yeah, dude. Yeah, okay, dude. it was fucking. The rest was just and like he got beat toms. up. <laughs> <laughs> he did get beat up. You yeah, got we, set yeah, we up talked about so that. bad. Yeah, yeah. We, yeah. R- Rat Dick, this is. Uh, oh, you're not. Off, I mean, if you keep Damn. acting like this, probably. It, if you, if I see you on stream going to raves, I'll probably not let you on the pod next week. Yeah, I don't care. I mean, it's just Ratic. Like your humanity has. You're gonna Ratic, die. Ratic is asking us if he's off the pod, and I think Ratic, what makes you fascinating is your humanity mm-hmm. and oh. the fact that you're getting into these wild situations and then breaking them down honestly with us. But right now, you're unable to do that, dude. You're just on a bender for the ages. Uh, what was that? Break what down? I I don't think it's gonna work if we try to break down your week. I want you to sit on that chair. You know over what there. I, I, let's talk about this for a second because <laughs> might be he's not in the best of shape for this, but there is a man that is a fan of our channel, and he his father is in the I guess on the board for Bare Knuckle FC. Yeah, and he does believe he can get a fight for Rat Dick. Should we call him right now on the pod? Yeah, that'd be great. Uh, he does believe that he can get a fight for Rat Dick that might be able to get him out of all his financial problems. Yeah, I, I bet Rat Dick would absolutely use that money to pay down his debt. <sighs> But the good thing is that we might just leave him in that state and never see him again. If right, Dick, if, I don't think if, it'll be here. If we got you a bare knuckle fight, we would have to have in the contract that the money goes to Rat Pussy Pam student loans. Yeah. That would be where that money went. Yeah. Right, Dick, grab the mic real quick. Would you take a bare knuckle fight if the purse went immediately to paying off your girlfriend's debt? No, what the fuck? <laughs> no? <laughs> what the fuck? What is well, I'll say you? this. You wouldn't make any money from the fight promoter, <laughs> but it would generate a bunch of publicity from the fight itself. We would go out there and film it so you'd get more streaming money for your drugs, too. So I would get, I would, I would be lit. You know, I'd have to go there and get lit and I'd have to have some money to take with me. Obviously, I need a few fucking hundred thousand dollars, maybe a few thousand dollars. It's not going to be that much. <laughs> yeah. yeah. The chicks at the rave are really going to dig it hundred if you win, dude. Thousands. Yeah. When you come in with lacerations all over your face and your face looking like a fucking collection of prunes the chicks are really going to go for you do the bare knuckle interviews their most viral clips are the people post fight yeah. whose faces look like masks out of a horror movie it's not going to be a good experience for you buddy and you're also a heavyweight which well, really scares yeah, me anyway, no. you're yeah, going to get okay basically usually. whatever money so, you're going to make i mean you are going to get knocked clean out <laughs> like yeah. clean well, like, well, i don't know if this is a good idea Man, nba mike what do you think dude i i think if if he's off drugs and yeah. maybe trains for any s- small amount of time, I think yeah. he might like survive. I think so too. He could like duck. He <laughs> says, his defense isn't bad. We've all seen it. Yeah, yeah. he's got he a chin. He can take a he's punch. Got a chin. He's got a chin. I think here's the plan. I think uh, my plan is a hybrid of what NBA Mike is suggesting. I think he gets sober and he trains his ass off for six weeks, and then on the night of the fight, he just does a boatload of crystal meth. Oh my yeah. god! I have no meth. I'm gonna try to find this guy. Zero meth. And I, I can t- I can tell. What was that, Fez? Uh, right, so I think that's had tough skin. I, I yeah, not yeah. No, Fez skin. Fez clocked him three times. In the what face. about his girlfriend's skin? How's how's it feel? She got suave sw- skin. Nice lips. Yeah, yeah nice lips. So let's wait till you see your pussy. Leah, let's call. Yeah, this I'm, guy. I'm gonna get the number right now. Because I, Rajik, I say if you're allowed to do narcotics before the fight, I say you take the fight. As your yeah, promoter, I yeah, say take that maybe, fight. Maybe maybe some luck, cocaine. Maybe a little fucking heroin. Maybe two. Dude, the rat. Oh, you're on heroin. Not heroin, but maybe mm-hmm. some ketamine too. Like, because like, they, people go raves with like ketamine. So it's like, yeah, whatever other people do, you gotta add it to your palate. Probably not. It's it, just like if other people do it, you can do it too. I don't want to snort. Going, but. Jacob, what's up? It's it's Leo, dude. You're you're on actually the podcast because we're talking to Ratic about this possible bare knuckle fight. So oh, you're on okay. you're on the Leo and Danny show. So anyway, what do you think you could maybe do for Ratic to get him out of debt, like or help his financial situation in the bare knuckle world? This we're talking about. So is this the Patreon or like the regular? Pod? No, the regular pod. Um, would you rather talk off? Dude, I can talk to you like for sure offline and then I'd be happy to do it on the regular pod. Uh, I don't know if I can do it right now just with some specifics. So All right. Well, if you're not too specific, like just what if like whatever you can say, like over the phone, what do you what do you think? Like, is there an opponent that you think you could find it? It's like he's he's 240 pounds. 
Uh, is that big? For, yeah, he's big. 230. I went 230 basically. 230 yeah, right. after the coke bender 230 he had a coke no, that bender was, this last week so he's, yeah, that was two he's 230 so yeah. are we are you just gonna down. get like a like like a golden gloves champion heavyweight <laughs> against her i think or like are we talking about no. like who would it be you think dude honestly my whole thing was and i'll be honest i did a kind of a deep dive after i you dm'd me back on this mm -hmm. um like he's well i guess he's there uh yeah no i we wouldn't do a heavyweight boxer like it that. wouldn't be a heavyweight like, boxer like that no well it would be it would be a, it would have to be obviously you know over what is it 206 so yeah, yeah something like 206 it has to be somebody so you think it may be somebody from our channel like another like somebody who has a beef with them from our channel yes <laughs> dude i ran this idea uh -huh. actually by a few people yeah and who i'm not dude who i was pitching was uh what's his name wide neck i don't why think wide neck why hey man that's what, that's what i was thinking the thing that's is i think wide neck might that would be funny and wide neck might kill him but but he's kind of small i don't think he's 200 pounds i i think pounds? i think wide neck would take care of himself that, i mean yeah. he, wide neck probably weighs about 200 but his cock is pulling a lot of that weight hey that's a good fight though that's a good that's honestly a really good fight you got rpp and us in both corners like, dude it's a it, whose corner honestly, would you be in rpp what we're thinking that's dude, what you're thinking that's smart story. yeah there's a little bit of a story there there's definitely said, a story say he's jordan 93 yeah, yeah jordan 93 i have my tongue out like jordan in 93 there are five blacks. Is he there? No, he's oh, not here yeah. right now. He's, he's well, how good was my impression? That was good. I know a lot of <laughs> a lot of that was a really good bro. We were talking about how that he's one of our favorite black voices, like actually just the way he talks. But uh, but no, Jacob, that's a good idea, man. And uh, I think we could uh we could talk about this and then you know, if you wanna maybe we could sit down with uh wide neck too, because I guess he's gonna have to need to do it. But I think on this side. Ratdick's probably down, I'm right? Down, dude. Yeah, Ratdick's down to fight. Oh, that's fun, noble. dude. Wide neck, dude. dude that's awesome. Honestly, that's honestly I would. So here's the thing: there's a big card coming up. Yeah. I don't think it would be. I think that's way too short. I really right. would like to see Ratdick take it seriously. Dude, and me train too. And where are we gonna go? We all yeah. where are we going? Yeah, yeah, talk to this guy. Yeah. Uh, Jacob, this is Daniel. What's up, man? What's up, Jacob? So uh, the taking it seriously thing. <laughs> I'm taking it seriously. <laughs> not gonna happen. I'm sorry. Like Ratdick does not take his own existence seriously, let alone an I'm athletic sorry. competition. So you're gonna get a man completely out of shape. Yeah. There's no way he's gonna pass a drug test. So you nope. gotta agree right now we're waving that. <laughs> hey man, listen. It uh, yeah, what, 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 as far as I know, he's clean. Yeah, okay. exactly. There's there's no USADA. There's no fucking... Nobody's going to come test his piss at 6 a.m. There's no USADA. No. Good, good. <laughs> so that means you could juice too, right, Dick? So, Jacob... Oh, that's what I thought you were talking... Oh, you're talking about him getting fucked up. Like, uh, yeah, he's I just going <laughs> to... I thought you meant he was going to be on like a Winstrol cycle or some shit. Oh, oh I, I wish. Oh, yeah. I wish. <laughs> How much better his life would be if he were just abusing steroids? Yeah, you should be on steroids, dude. Lit, Jacob, uh, is there Honestly, any awesome. way... Is good. there you any way that we can make yeah, sure that the purse money is completely out of reach of rat dick himself and goes right to his girlfriend's loans is there any way we can do that put it in an llc okay yeah, maybe so, you start an llc and then we'll put it in that not in his name i wouldn't well, actually I can't yeah I, it's gonna be tough to get the the rat dick ralph llc i don't think any attorney is gonna co-sign that but well <laughs> jacob yeah, yeah. we need this money nice we need it to go toward the woman that he has emotionally among other types of things as like abused taker without pay yeah the, the bigger hispanic chick right <laughs> no. yeah she, she is a beautiful hispanic chick i'm not going to use the word bigger no 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 i'm sorry no, <laughs> jacob really god that's right it. apologize you represent bare knuckle fc okay that's an outstanding organization do not be do not be calling out you're right she's you know you're you're accurate jacob <laughs> no, you're piece awesome, of shit. Man. listen like i said i've been a fan of the channel for a while um I didn't really, I, I didn't, I wasn't keeping up with things too much until like I watched the whole Radnick saga. Of course. And I've yeah. been, I've been pitching this idea and then I did, I did do a little bit more of a deep dive. I, is he okay though? Like, I, I hope so. <laughs> we hope so. I, uh, if I say no, or is he not going to get the fight? <laughs> Definitely. Okay, bro. No, I'm, no man. I'm, uh, well, yeah, I, but I, I honestly, dude, I, I believe in Radnick. I actually yeah. think he could train. I do think yeah. he could, uh, I think I think he would lose a lot of that weight too. Yeah, yep, I don't yep. think he I don't think he'd come in at two thirty if he. Yeah. You know, just got some bot. Yeah, you do you do big DJ right? Yeah, yeah. I yeah. mean, I, and no, there is no way in hell I would take him no, into my you, gym. No, I know. Unless I wanted to get told me to work out at your gym. No, I. I didn't. 
Oh yeah. I mean, there's gotta be <laughs> they're some like, oh, Jim with him. Something with any like, combat bro. with him. You know, I, just learning fundamentals. That I, would be great. I, I think he'd do better. Yeah, we could we could try. We could take him to wild card. We could. <laughs> that sounds it sounds amazing. Jacob, we're gonna make a video happen. The yeah. most we're gonna get is like so there's gotta be a camera there or a live stream, otherwise he won't train. He's probably gonna have to be on uppers, mm-hmm. otherwise he won't train. Exactly. I, I think yeah, I'm you get prescribed Adderall. Yeah, I think he I should be able to. That, honestly, I was thinking the same thing. I mean, I think it'll be a miracle if he puts in more than an hour of actual training for the fight. I need Adderall. But <laughs> but that he said kind of jacked when he was a kid, huh? But that said, oh, if 16, it, yeah. he just he latched onto the word Adderall and he's just been repeating, I need Adderall to himself. I, I, but, uh, yeah, Jacob, I mean, we can send him your way, yeah, man. It sounds amazing. It, but whether or not he's going to be apprehended by the police or, um, well, that's what I was worried about. Oh, that's, that's, ID. Yeah, we got to get him an ID. We're going to do a pay. Let's do the Patreon where we take him to the DMV. Let's see. Okay. What we do. Well, uh, Jacob, I would love to make this happen. We just got to make sure all the money goes to his. I'm going to use the word widow because it's starting to feel like the only way to describe Rat Pussy Pam. And the money's got to go to his widow, yes. Rat Pussy Pam, and her debts. Dude. I mean, it, let's make it happen. We'll we'll definitely let's let's wipe that debt clean, man. Okay. Let's revenge on a uh, wide neck. Yeah, a little revenge okay. on wide neck would be kind of dope. Be huge. Liz, fuck. Uh, he seems like a cool guy and everything. He is. That's, that's actually how this all started. I I didn't realize who he was the wide neck guy, and I saw that I'm like this poor rap dick guy because I remember the original video. Was, and man, it's been a saga with that. Been a minute, man. dude. Oh, yeah. If he knocks. A rat dick out. He's gonna say something so horrific. Uh, I hope he throat fucks rat dick, dude. What if what if he goes directly to the corner and just fight. throat fucks RPP? You know, Jacob, would you allow it? <laughs> you might have to cut away on television, but if Wide Neck throat fucked RPP in the middle of the ring over rat dick's unconscious body, oh no, no, dude. There's a lot of virality. There's a lot of virality in that. That's right. Jail. I mean. It, yeah, it, 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 there Absolutely. is there and en- there is endless virality. Yeah, it just you have to ask yourself, Jacob, how good are your lawyers? <laughs> because there also might be endless death too. Like, oh god, I mean, Ratic so is, is wide neck like. So does he have any training? I, I, to me, I'm looking at this from the street stock. You know, maybe <laughs> he's got training for like the streets. Uh, he's for sure been in fights. He's got the he's no questions asked. He's been in a fight. But, yeah, uh, absolutely. He would fuck up Scott oh, yeah, he's been in jail. Bro. I uh, I would put every penny I had on wide neck. <laughs> I, I don't think there's a universe in I've which Rat Dick beats that. wide neck. I no, mean, it would be crazy if he did. I mean, I mean wide neck. I do Australian. Wide neck has been Australian. sober every time I've spoken right. to him. Yeah. Or maybe you know, at worst, maybe he takes like a Xanax at night. But I mean, Rat Dick, yeah. Rat Dick's, yeah. Rat Dick's life. I think I've said it before this podcast. It hangs by a thread right now. I'm looking at a husk of a man, and inside that husk is drugs. Yeah. Wow. Well, I, this is, yeah, I mean, I, you know, this isn't exactly what I wanted to hear, but I mean, it, no. it does add to the whole narrative of rat dick. I mean, yeah. you, could you think he might use this as a chance to, as a turning point in life and get out of that crippling debt? Or, well, I guess. I would hope. Uh, I, I, when I, when I told money? him, I mean, he looks, he looks right now gacked out with a capital G, Jacob. He's just, yeah. Wow. Just fucking stress. Well, I'm doing his face. I mean, honestly, a lot of this. Fucking stress. If he, it could change his life. It like, could change his life. He, he just yeah. said he's stressed. He's had a really stressful week, Jacob. I mean, he's been putting in <laughs> eight, nine hours at the rave at the after hours yeah. club, just doing Molly and heroin. Yeah. And, but Jacob, I mean, yes, we we need to write into the contract that it goes to Red Pussy Pam. We're doing it. I feel like it's a win win as long as Red Pussy Pam gets out of debt for it. Yeah. And. I mean, I think that would be easy, honestly. Yeah, could, I mean, I think it'd be good, bro. I it, it'll be What's huge. It? It'll be fucking huge. It'll be a must-watch event. I guarantee it'll do great numbers for you guys. Yeah, just let us know. But again, we're gonna have to you. We, you got to get your shadiest lawyer and get him to email me because yeah. I don't think this thing's gonna fly otherwise. And and yeah, yeah, definitely. Well, obviously, I'm joking aside. It would have to. You know, we'll handle that stuff. We'll handle it. Yeah. Okay. Enough, but, but Rat Dick Ralph, man, this would this would be the redemption story of all redemption stories. It'd be great, man. Like, it'd be redemption. I, I, it sounds like he's <laughs> celebrating though with the raves. I, I would I'm, think he'd be in a darker place. You're right. He's, he's what's he celebrating? Out. You know, what's he celebrating? 
I think he's he could celebrate a streaming after a W. Career. After a W, that'd be the greatest oh, night of his life. He would die. He does. He does. He does. Yeah, he would. His widow would become a legitimate widow. Yeah, he I does. think what he's celebrating, Jacob. Yeah, those sucks. What he's celebrating, Jacob, is he's because he does a great job on our podcast. Because he does a great job on the main channel. I mean, he is entertainment gold. He has been making a good income streaming. Sometimes yeah. up to like a thousand a week, right, Raddy? Yeah, I think like made two thousand one week. He made two thousand in one week, which yeah. for him is like a million dollars a year. Yeah. That's the translation. Yeah, I mean for him, a, a two grand a week is like a hundred grand a week. Too. I so I mean, he's popping bottles in his own mind. He's on a yacht. So yeah. that's kind of what he's celebrating. But right. what he doesn't realize is the gravy train is going to go away if he pushes it to. He's Icarus right now. Yeah. He's getting real close to the sun. I need help sure. increasing my text to speech. Wow. I did, so he's on a high note making. Two, okay. Yeah, yeah, I mean, that's good money. But it's good. Uh, yeah. I, I, I keep playing footsie with him. Yeah. The way he's going, it, this could be a steady thing. If he, if he, if it, you, know, you wouldn't say that if you could see him now. Yeah, dude. He I, really. <laughs> Yeah. <laughs> he yeah, I mean, he is. He, I'll, I'll give you a, a little sneak peek of the podcast that's going to be coming out. He walked up the stairs, did a beeline for the bathroom, poured out a bunch of blow on the on the bathroom sink, and just fucking nasally inhaled it. Like a point wow. or two. Like point a, one point. It's not that's, good. Uh, that's 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 crazy. This is this is. Is he does he like want to live like this? Is he continuing like just? I don't you know. know. Well, you start a gnarly so coke habit. Like you're chill, but it's like fucking. What do you want coke with the money? He's talking to himself right now. He's having a conversation with himself about his coke habit. It's not good. Oh yeah, wow. Well. All coke. right. Well, I mean, but she's well, fucking well, telling well, me if I do a course. Like I said I really do want to make this happen. Oh, oh me, too, yeah. me too, Jacob. Trust me, me too. It's gonna be great. I'll be honest with you. After hearing about a lot of the stuff, I don't. I don't know if anybody would ever sign off on it. But I mean, if we can get him in the right head, that sounds crazy. Yeah. Now we're gonna get. We're gonna. We're gonna make this happen with some finagling. So I have some Armenian friends. Yeah. Uh, Leo says he's got Armenian friends. Enough said. We'll make Mm -hmm. it happen. But I mean, you guys. (laughs) You guys somehow got. I mean, Dana White had a hell of a time with the UFC with fucking yeah. gloves. I mean, you guys are going just hand wraps and you somehow made that work legally. Mm-hmm. So I feel like getting this bozo in the ring, that should be no problem. <laughs> hey, you know, I mean, I think he'll pass a, a physical way. Obviously, everything's very sanctioned and they have to see his cock. But you know, this is, this is crazy. I'd love to see something happen. Yeah. Phrase I mean, it is a, Jacob, let's be real. It is a dangerous sport. Well, yeah. Jacob, what if we do it on an Indian reservation? <laughs> yeah. I, I, listen, there is always that too. And I'm not talking under any, you know, specific fight umbrella with, with that. Obviously right. that would be more of an independent thing, but I, I really truly believe he could, do this if you took it seriously but that may not be in the cards i don't know man. oh it's in the cards we I could do. do a little on like a little small bare knuckle fight like somewhere in on an indian <laughs> reservation That'd oh be dude we, we, i'm, I'm, I'm in with cars, bro, i'm fight. in with the tachis dude the tachi palace in lamore california yeah. right in the middle but kind of by fresno i know them they've been doing unsanctioned fucking fights out there for 25 plus years dude we get ratic out there there's no drug test there's just a guy with a tomahawk we have the fight. Yeah. You we keep have the, the fucking you fight. You guys can too. keep the gate. You guys provide maybe like uh, the ambulance. Uh, no, I, I honestly, dude, if he, if, he, if he can take it seriously, I think there's a nice windfall of cash coming his way going directly to RPP. You hear yeah. that, Radtick? Uh, Radtick perked up, and then he heard it was going to Rat Pussy Pam, <laughs> yeah, and he looks sad. Or a bank account, or what's called a uh, well, I mean, I don't even know how that would work. Whatever the L- I think there'd be plenty to go around. Just, just put it in an LLC, maybe a trust fund of sorts. There we yeah. go. Rat Pussy Pam, would you take a chick fight? Would you fight a girl? That'd be crazy. Um, and dude, if we had the family of rats fucking oh. brawling. Oh, oh man. RPP. Wow. Honestly, you know what? That's not too bad of an idea. If she would also No, be no. The they would have to, it would be a weight class. Um, weight class yeah. so we we need to we need to broach this subject delicately, Jacob, but Rat Pussy Pam just said she would take the fight, but it can't be a girl lighter than her. Is Rosie O'Donnell <laughs> available? <laughs> you piece of shit. How could you? Think, yeah, no, we could we could make that happen. <laughs> Who do you You're think you are? You're an asshole, Danny. Who do you think you are, dude? <laughs> I, I couldn't Today's resist. Today's the last time I come to your pod. Oh, I'm sorry. No, 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 because no. he broke his promise. <laughs> I yeah, did. he did. He did. Hey, I'm right, pussy. But wait, you guys are sort of like, you guys have made out, so yeah, that's like a thing. No, you guys have made out. He broke his promise. <laughs> but you guys have made out. He thinks you're attractive. 
I don't care. <laughs> Brad Posey, that was a good one, though. That one was artful. It, it was so, good. It was a good but joke. But he broke his Because you, you just, but didn't you yourself just say that it, it can't be a small girl, it's got to be a heavy girl? No, you said that. I, I would feel bad if it was like. You would kill a smaller, smaller girl. RPP girl. versus Indica? I would, Oh, no, I wouldn't fight her. I think I could, she's right there, dude. She, yeah, you Red, could definitely RBP, her you know I like you. I'm sorry. I'm trying to negotiate to, to get rid of your student loans I would go right buy now. condoms, just make doing? sure she doesn't hit me. Is that what you're doing? She could make money. She really could. <laughs> I, I love RPP. Uh, I didn't, I'm sorry, RPP. You want to like, break out? Sometimes they slip on Fez. I, I didn't kiss, mean the Little kiss. It was a, it was a, no kiss. because oh. that was like an A-level fat joke, you got to give it to me. If it was like a B or a C, it would be more offensive. All right, I saw that, dude. I saw your fucking... Dr. Mr. Grinch fucking no, grin coming, dude. Me. I knew something horrific was coming, dude. When she said it, I was like, oh, why did she say that? Is Rosie O'Donnell available? Please clip that. By the way, Austin, this week, clip that. Is that too fucked up? Oh, wait, wait, R wait R RBB, are you, are you upset? That's okay, bro. I think Radnick Ralph did something. What did you do? Wait, what happened? He was talking about indica and condoms. We're at RPP. Was that me or him? Oh, okay, I'm sorry, okay. RPP. To be, be clear, that it was Rat Dick who made her upset, not Danny. Well, we just we just had somebody walk on the podcast, Jake. Fez, you're gonna eat her pussy oh, down no, there okay. anyway, right? Fez is gonna eat her pussy. It, it was already RDR. RDR is in a, he is in another universe. He's got the energy of a guy downtown on a corner yeah. just going crazy right now. He's, like Rat yeah. Dick, you're starting to get homeless guy energy. It's gonna turn into bum yeah. fights. Yeah, yeah, he, yeah, it is bum fights where we're prepping. We're we're basically making him do a bum fight. And Fez, you're gonna eat red red pussy's pussy down there or you're gonna eat her pussy down wait there? right dick do you mind trying to tell us what happened what did you say that offended rpp so i you don't think it was an indica comment you touched her that's that's how much your charm is worn off that just touching your girlfriend is enough to make her walk out um jacob well we got a hell of a mess on our hands here but we're still interested in the fight we hey listen i i'm gonna i'm gonna do some things behind the scenes i'll message leo sounds good I want to make it happen. I, I hate to hear that. No, we're going to make it happen. Yeah, Jacob, we're going to make it happen. That bigger comment at all. What's that? Um, I didn't mean anything by her being bigger. Oh, oh no, it's that. fine. Yeah. yeah. She didn't even hear that. Yeah, you know, Jacob, actually, I'm going to pin this on you. You're the one who made her walk out. <laughs> I, want to, I want to take all that debt away. I want our computer to live a happy life. Same with, I, I don't know. Yeah, no, you're going to help. That'd be dope, right man. It's crazy to me. I thought it was a, a all right. dark time, but it, Sounds like it's going well. Dude, I think yeah. we do. Do you know? I think a thousand Danny Mullen fans will come to that. I think it'll be giant. I mean, I think there's crossover potential. I think a lot of people on the channel who just, you know, they tune in every now and then, they'll yeah. hear about this. It'll be big. Yeah. It'll be, and even if you even if you don't know the channel, if you hear the story, like, hey, crazy guy named Rat Dick Ralph with a satanic star on his hand. Yeah. His girlfriend got throat fucked by a guy named Wideneck <laughs> that went viral on TikTok. Yeah. They're duking it out. Yeah. And oh yeah, by the way, the satanic guys on drugs. You know, the drug thing, I would love for him to get clean. I'd we do it on an Indian reservation. You don't have to worry about a thing. <laughs> no, Sovereign no, land, okay? It is a redemption story of all redemption stories. Could you imagine if he came out on top of this with that footage in the background? Oh, oh man. Saying that and RPP is in the, in the stands chair. Well, know, he dies celebrating that night. So that's the problem. Like, but but, it would be crazy. You know what we got to do, Jacob? The uh, Wide Neck's walkout t-shirt, his team kit, has to be just a still shot of him throat fucking rat pussy Pam. <laughs> wow. <laughs> there is, there, I mean, that's what I'm saying. The fight really does sell itself. Oh, yeah. It's going to sell mean, itself. Does he not want to get any type of revenge on this man? Uh, uh, does he, does he like, I, I don't know the story there, really. I don't know. Rat Dick, do you have any animosity built up toward Wide Neck? Say it into the mic. It better not be anything racial, it, I want, either. I want, I want people that I... We don't really like him, but I want people that... Or like the homies to fuck rap pussy pam. He says he wants people. Team, he right? says he says he quote wants yeah. people who are the homies to fuck rat pussy pam. <laughs> wow. I don't know. Hey. I don't know. <laughs> <laughs> That's for sure. But I, I really, if I was him, I would encourage uh, to not lean on that side and maybe use it as some motivation and make him not the homie. Rat dick, what the <laughs> fuck, dude? Like, we've been trying to have an intervention, and rat dick is just still gold. Even when he's just melting down on drugs, I know. he's just too gold, dude. He really, he really is, is, dude. He's, he's, he's different.
Dude, he is different. It's just man. like <laughs> he does need to do a, a bear fight, a barefoot fight. I mean, sorry, a let's, bear. Let's knuckle send him fight. to Ohio and fight. bear knuckle fight. He, yeah. I say he wrestles a bear too. He can do that yeah. also. All right, Jacob. Well, I appreciate it, man. We're going to be in touch. This is going to be really, really exciting. Sure. I mean, I think this is going to be the title of the podcast. Right, take takes a bear knuckle fight. Yeah. But uh, Jacob, we'll, we'll be in touch soon. I, I it's going to be big for everybody. Uh, we'll find a way. Don't worry. Well, it's it's for charity. It's for Rat Pussy Pam's debt. You and I will cut ourselves into the tune of like ninety percent of it. <laughs> and uh, as, you know, <laughs> your boy's going to get a, a half of that ninety percent. So uh, yeah, Leo's going to get. We're going to we're going to split it three ways, thirty percent each, and we'll give that ten percent. And you know, I appreciate it, guys. I wish the best for all of you. All right, Sam, brother. Let it do. Let it, Jacob. <laughs> All right, Ratik. You know we're fucking with you. So yeah, Ratik, she left. It was crazy. Yeah. So how do you feel about that? Walk us through it, Ratik. She bans me like all the time. It's crazy. She's like, she, like she, I don't do something right. She leaves. Like, Can I ask you a question real quick? I tell you, I'll, I'll tell you Ratik, look at me. Look at me. Shh. He's got homeless guy energy. Look at me right now. Focus for a second. <laughs> if you could just go to raves and like live right next to one and just like bang like hot college girls at the raves, would you do that? Yeah, would you just leave RPB right now and just do that? I can't. You're using her, dude. You just it. admitted that you are using her. Into the mic. Into the mic, dude. Into the mic. Into the mic. That's you are. Uh, you can't talk into the mic right now, bro. Let's party crazy. more together. What? Like maybe she comes down and party and we have more fucking threesomes with chicks. Yeah, but you know, and she doesn't do enough drugs with me, but. She's holding you back in your drugs. A little bit of coke with me at the rave on Saturday, but, but not she's enough. kind of a square. Do you think she's a square? I mean, she doesn't like me enough to want to get So I'm not like good enough like boyfriend probably. So do you like indigo? So you're just like peer pressuring rap pussy bam into doing drugs with you? <laughs> Some <laughs> stuff, dude. Do you like indigo more? Not only indigo more. You sure about that? Not only indigo more. Do you, you like indigo? We know you've been running around. You want to call her on the podcast? Yeah, we now, already know. That. A fan said he could not snap a pick, but he did see you going into a CVS with indigo. Just admit it, dude. Just admit it, right? Yeah, that's right. You were going into a CVS with CBS Indigo. Is, yeah, you do. He, he's yeah. only Walgreens. He got you, Leo. Dude. I figured he'd be going in there because she would make him come to CVS like pick up some yeast. Wait, do you not go to CVS's because they have to unlock all the products and nobody would unlock anything for you? Uh, like if Ratic wanted a fucking a, a speed stick, say, I'd be like, nah, <laughs> get out of here, I'd love buddy. To say, actually. Yeah, love to say. Like you're gonna turn this into Sudafed or like cook it down into meth or somehow good. like. Like you are, you are going to extract an active ingredient from the old spice and make drugs. Beat it. That's what I would do if I worked at the CVS. Yeah. Just like I'm trying to not be homeless. That sucks. Not only that, bro. You you want to be homeless, man. It's a self fulfilling prophecy at this point. And by the way, a uh, a very concerned looking Fed just sat down. We Mm -hmm. finally coaxed Fed out of his room. He's, Mm -hmm. yeah. I mean, Ratix, he's on another level right now, Fed. We, but Leo, it was getting deep. Leo thinks that you have a death wish, that you want to be homeless. That there's I don't a, want to be homeless. There's a beautiful the passage about it in Fear and Loathing, where the uh, the the crazy attorney eats like an entire packet of acid, and he's fucking going crazy with a knife. And Hunter said that this time he's ready, like he's ready to go over the mountain. He's ready to die or go to prison or just whatever happens. He doesn't care anymore. It seems like you're there. No, it's cool that you you through RB books dead, have uh, learned so much about addiction. Like I wasn't as uh, I haven't been as uh, I'm not as educated on that because I haven't been around that many addicts. But since, you know, being <laughs> since hanging out with you and yep. like spending time with guys like Rattic, there is it's something like it's something like you said, there's something it's almost like it's demonic. But I don't know how to explain it, but it's like you were not. Uh, like a human anymore like you don't you don't idea. care about your family you don't no, no, care no. about your pet, your dogs you don't care about your girlfriend like I do care about my the only I thing that them, you care about is that little stupid high like right. being sober is kind of a high too can you imagine this mm-hmm. let's say you were only feeling like this always and, and and you had to take a drug to feel sober wouldn't you want to feel sober you ever think about that uh, yeah, when I'm walking on the rave, there's fucking cops driving around looking at me. That's the one time he'd want to be sober, Leo. He wish he had a sober up button for the police. You know, going to a rave sober is pretty fun. The, the if you just go to dance, I see they're dancing and smoking. Like, you not, like, you want to do some coke? And you're like, you're like, no, I don't do drugs. I'm like, what the fuck, you're sober? That's crazy, dude. I think you should put Rad Dick through a full exorcism with a Catholic priest. It's not a bad idea. It might be amazing, dude. If he had a religious epiphany, that'd be fucking awesome. Or the demon just like crawls out and he starts vomiting all over the place and like you get it on camera. I only have a demon in me. So, so Ratek, now that you've, you've settled down a little bit, it's gotten real because Ratek walked or Rat 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 Plus he walked. Like, tell us, like, dude, what's going on, man? Like, you've had a bad week. 
Yeah, I have, bro. I'm just like, I mean, just like picking up rap pussy Pam super late and like hiding shit and like indica shit, drug shit. Just like shit, dude. Just like not probably shit. literal shit in his case. Yeah. And just like not, it's like we had a rental car, so I just went wild and just like did a lot of crazy shit over the week that can't really talk about. And just, so when you get a rental and car, then, like, Thursday came around, it's like, no, it's time to be with rap pussy Pam for the next four days. And like, I got lit as fuck. The old ball like, and shit. Yeah, I was like, going to be okay. I was going to be okay. You're using her too much. I'm using bro. her too much. And I she's to with enabling her. I want to have you. a with her. I want to do something good, but I didn't do it right. Like, let's go party. Right, Tink, bro, it's time for you to just walk yourself yeah, into a nice not, jail. Tripping, Takes a bus down. I threw my fucking coke away, dude. Don't you? You know they put sugar in the applesauce on the potatoes. Like right. everything's sweet. The bread has nice, <laughs> nice butter on it. it. What? He's got to call RPP. Oh, she, fuck, she's leaving me. Says Red He just received a, a no doubt very lengthy text that said like. Oh fuck you or or something fez this is good for you because you know Wait, uh, me, she's gonna need a rebound she now. is gonna need a rebound and Redick's gonna need an uber and if, if anything was proved by that guy eric her standards are very high for the rebound what is she saying rat dick i'm filming this right now what is she saying rdr it looks like it's affected him profoundly yeah fed you might want to hop out of the shot I'll, I'll, I'll start a new clip fed so you're not in it um Wait, RDR, you want to come back and tell us what's being said on the mic? What the fuck? RDR, he's having trouble reading it, but he, he seems, again, to be very distressed. What is said, Ratic? Why is it different this time? <laughs> she said you... Uh, RPP just said you suck as a man. Um, uh, something about being done with you. I hope Danny will help you out. I'm going to the Airbnb. That's what RPP said. He's crying. Oh. So this is real. RDR, you want to come sit down on the couch and talk it over? Yeah, come sit down on the couch. I'll call her. I'll call her. Let me call her, bro. Ratic, oh, you're acting like this is a big surprise. Papa Leo's you on it. See this rat dick. Papa Leo's okay, on Ratic, it. Ratic, come sit down. Hasn't this been like the 15th time she's left you this week? Why is it such a shock? What? Sit down. Sit down into the mic. Sit down into the mic. Sit down in the mic. It's like, what the fuck? She can't leave all my shit. Like, come on, I need my fucking dabs at least. Come on, dude. You still got there we go. That's, that, we're at the bottom of it. It was about the dabs. <sighs> no, it's not. <laughs> my shit. I know uh, the Coke, too. Oh, the Coke. Charger. There's another baggie in the car. The phone charger, too, no Fed. The, the, so the Coke, oh, and the dabs, money, and the phone bro. charger. Yeah, and the money. Wait, so, but right, to get, it is comical that the only concern you have about your girlfriend leaving you is <laughs> your phone charger and the dabs. She can leave. She wants to leave. I'm not going to like there we go. So he's like, she can leave if she wants to leave, as long as she brings back my fucking iPhone charger. That's you need your a, charger and your dab. Yeah, I think you might have an iPhone. That's no, impressive. I don't know what it is. What do you have right now? Now you have a Tim Cook, huh? It's like a Metro PCS. Yeah, from, that, that, that makes are you, sense. You want to leave me? What about this B and B though? Yeah, you're not going to take me with you today. No. You sure? Yeah. I love you. Tell her you'll eat her pussy. I love your pussy. I love you. I'll eat your pussy for 45 minutes. Give it a time. Give it a time what, limit. What's here, what's here, Give it a time limit. I don't want to continue your career job, pussy pal. Put it your phone on the mic, bro. Fuck off. What do you mean? What do you mean? I need my stuff at least, man. I no clothes. Comes down to the material once again. Or Jeff, Fez, you look disgusted. I have no clothes. I need my stuff. Now Give I'm him a mic. see why he has so many fans. He might come out. No. <laughs> You oh, see. my God. What do you mean? Say that again, Fez. Wait, no, 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 Austin. Oh. Have him come out and I'll give him your stuff. What have you Fez mean? come out. Let's have Fez go out there. You can't. I don't want to see you. She doesn't want to see you right now. Just go out there and beg her to stay, dude, in a second. What do you mean? I don't want to see you. Can I have some money? Got money. I made money today. I made a lot of money putting your account. I made a lot of money on TTS. I made like fucking some money. Dude, what he's an fuck? addict, bro. Okay, I'll cash it out. Okay, I need thirty dollars. Okay. Yeah, you're you're a beast right now. He's a beast. He's like like uh like Hunter Hunter S. Thompson said. He's trying to find the beast in him. What's the quote? He who makes a beast out of himself gets rid of the pain of being a man. You want, you want to leave? You want to leave me? Then you'll break up. I'm apart. But he's you know he's, you don't care about me. Go break up. You don't care about me. I care about you. No, you and you don't. have my phone charger. <laughs> you have oh, my dad. phone chargers, and I don't. I I there, guess. Do you give me a back piece? You want to say her, speaker? You want to tell her something romantic? Yeah. Spanish. <laughs> yeah. 
I love you. You're my woman. And like, I'm sorry. I've been like what a liar, crazy. Bro. It's like, I'm sorry. It's like, I love you. Very sincere. Like, yeah, I'm like, Dude, there's nothing that coke. Like, but I love you. Satellite probably will. I don't know if he's shit. I'm sorry. I, and I'm sorry that you fucking like that. Dude, I'm fucking sorry, man. I'm sorry. Dude, I'm sorry that I let you um, say kiss wait, 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 Fez what? and suck white next cock and touch Austin's cock let's, and do all this weird shit with everybody. She I, like that. I but I did my I, cock. <laughs> you allow people to humiliate me and you never have my back. But it's my career. Well then, I don't want to be a part of it, bitch. RPP, I'm sorry about the the joke I made. I am sorry about that. RPP was the joke too much. The joke too much. Yeah. Let me call her. Yeah, she'll answer real quick. Why don't you just go out there and go see her? Yeah, She's you should like probably outside. go out there. Is it a notebook moment time? Yeah. <laughs> the rat book, dude. The rat book. Dude. <laughs> Reggie, be careful not to show her. Phone two, <laughs> two wet rats in the rain. She's gonna, she's gonna take me home, right? She'll take you home. She's waiting out there, bro. Chill out. Yeah, there's a good beeria place around the corner, though. Retic, if you had to break it down, like what depresses you more, RPP leaving or her taking your money, your phone charger, and your dabs? Be honest. I mean, I also need my whip at Kansas School. I want to do balloons. After okay, so whip it's also. I didn't. <laughs> I didn't give the exhaustive list. I'm sorry. Um, Damn, bro, you need to go to. You need to go to jail. No, I'm not going to jail, bro. buddy. You're gonna die if you don't go to jail. Do you want to live or not, bro? No, you guys cannot call cops. Join your friends. Or with all the stuff you're doing, like going around Bloody. driving without a license with cocaine on you, it's like yeah, that way. When the dangerous. cops catch you, not only are you gonna have to do the time that you already owe, but you're yeah. gonna end up doing ten more years. You might do ten years, bro. It depends. You could kill someone out there right now. You're you're crazy. I do bro. freeway dabs from driving. That's so stupid. Listen <sighs> to me, man. I like I drive with my knee and I listen. Like, uh, heat up and I fucking. I I've done that before. People like die that. from whippets <laughs> all the time too. So freeway bro. dabs. You know the people die from whippets too, right? Yeah, dude, I think I almost fucking, I almost had a seizure. I was, I was you like, did have so a hard. seizure I on fucking, camera. I, like, I felt, I felt, for, I was like that, and I started, I was like, I blacked out. I'm like, and like, I took too much. I fucking, and like, you can't do that. Dude, so I took too much. And like, I looked at the guy, like, he had to catch me. And Rattig, I'm going to tell you this right now. There's more than just cocaine and what you snorted, because I have yeah. never seen somebody on coke yeah. acting like you. Yeah. 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 Now, you know, there's something else that maybe we should talk about too. Rattig, look at me to try to understand this, because you're not, you're I mean, not no understanding. Coke. I mean, you're not coke, understanding no, much of what coke, coke, it's, it's Rattig, look at me. It's coke, bro. It's what you saw white powder, bro. Rattig, look at me. This is serious. There is a point where you will do a drug and you're going to get a head change and then you're just going to lose your mind and you're going to be like people walking around just crazy talking to nobody. You're going to be one of those people. You're, you're already pretty one close. Step away. Yeah, yeah, you're one, one or two steps, steps away. Do you want to just like, it I know a girl that fried her fried her, uh, fried her mind or brain with acid in like she was 17 years old, bro. She was really cute, dude. Did acid one time. Did she blow you before she did it? No. Uh, you were. Uh, yeah, I mean, I'm saying I wanted you, her. To you blow were me. of age at the time. You were underage. Yes, too. I was. I wanted her to blow me. Did, she you, did, did she blow you after she? No, left and I no because she was like <laughs> he visited went, her at the psych ward. <laughs> I'm gonna do an impression of her pre and post. Pre, she was just a little valley girl and like really peppy and smart and kind of cute. And then afterwards, she would just stare into the distance and she would just like one word answers. Like people would still hang out with her. And then this was her just like, hi guys. How are you? Well, let's change the subject some better. Rattic, who's your favorite Harry Potter character? Fucking, um, I think, bro. Like, oh, goddamn, bro. Probably fucking Hermione, bro. Really? <laughs> Why? Because you want to you put your fucking rat dick in her? I just, like, grew up, like, I'm like, damn, this bitch is probably hot. I probably jacked off a lot to her. I mean, like, the Harry Potter, reading the Harry Potter, I was like, damn, she fucking fuck her. Do you jerked off to the books? Yeah. <laughs> Oh, Dude, like, I, I like it. See, that's the thing about Rat Dick is he's actually kind of smart. Like, I'm sure you read all the books when you were a kid. I read the books twice. Dude, he see, yeah, sad, yeah. dude. Dude, look up Skylar Hazel at the uh, Instagram. Is dude, it's crazy. You gotta watch. Hey, can we bring it up? Uh, bring up Skylar Hazel at the Instagram, dude. I mean, I I know I love the Harry Potter books, but like to get through those books twice, you can't be a complete H-A- fucking idiot. You no, know, you're right. You're absolutely right. It's it's uh, whoa. Good morning, right? Twenty four year old Skylar Hazel. Um, no, you, no, H A Z Z Z. There's no Y. Yeah, there's no Y. Yeah, that that should be it. It's a double. Yeah, there it is. Um, 
It's Instagram. Wait, yeah, Insta, Instagram. There's a Skyler Hazlitt on X whose uh, bio is Christian Love, and then I couldn't Where's read the rest of it. For Where's your dude? Your Instagram, Instagram got deleted, bro. No, no you're, you're you're the one from back in the day. I just saw it. Oh shit, Skyler Hazlitt. Yeah, I think I had one back in the day. What was it? No, it's Skyler Hazlett on Instagram, bro. It was Twitter, it was, wasn't it? No, you. No, it, was, it was Insta. It was Insta, bro. A fan just sent it to me. Right it's kind of gay back then. I was like, kind of like. Yeah, you were not gay. Like, yeah, just to love my family. I mean, you were shit. jerking off to Hermione, so you couldn't yeah. have been that gay. But that was that was what there, I was, right, that I was one, that one. like. I was Check like, this out, Danny. I really Republican. Dad. Dude, look at him. He used to put his brother on his page, a cute picture of his Except sister, like a dirty football. Keep going down. These he was are crazy. He was a patriot. I was kind of gay. A patriot. America, fuck yeah, bucket. Yeah, look at look at look at him. He's a stud. And I getting jacked. Faith and I getting jacked. Okay. Lift. I hope Faith is okay wherever she is. Stop. She's a little baby. She didn't molest well, anyone. Little, I hope. That's my little I baby. Hope. 2014. But he did post a lot of pictures of her on his page. Oh, that's so. fucking scary. Yeah, let's look at. Let's count the pictures of Faith on the picture. I'm just kidding. One, two, <laughs> three, four. That's a lot of pictures of Faith, huh? <laughs> I really loved. Her. Whoa. Man. Hey, whatever. What the <laughs> fuck? Okay. Swag. Swag. Okay. Were you I, like you treated her better than you treated like fucking the, jo I, the I dogs? Really you my little sister. I don't know why. Look at him. Look at him. Jacked Skyler. Bro, cut. Damn, Scott. Look at Wait, this. Well, you played Jeez. football in high school? Uh, or did you? were you just excited to watch it from the sidelines? Because <laughs> it, it says, ex oh, exited. Yeah, it's spelled wrong. Uh, <laughs> NBA points out. It says exited for football tired and tired of track. of track. I was really gay back then. Bro. Wait a second. You're not gay. This is dope. You had, you, had, you had hot bitches. Yeah. Wow. You know, dude, <laughs> you're Chloe, Chloe Johnson and Pay 10 are dude, all up in it. They're, they're hot. Them. Check them out, Austin. You used to be a six, I right? I was being, I was just living with these weird Ohio people. Dude, bro. they're oh, what, oh, weird. Oh, oh my God. What the fuck? It's been. Yeah, no, it's you were killing it, you jerk off. You ain't getting a bitch even near yeah. this level. So, you now. so pay underscore ten is a lovely of age now girl who was commenting yeah. on Skyler's shit back in the day. Keep going, bro. It, get, it gets even better. Look at Chloe Johnson. So, yeah, so you were like on Reddit, like getting people to rate your pictures because she said, "I don't really know you, but I guess I'd give you a six. They're high school friends. You no, know, right. that, that girl said she doesn't know you, and she rated your picture. That's weird. All right, keep going. Dude, uh, that yeah, one, the, one, that girl was fucking, dude, you had some problems. God is almighty. He was, dude, yeah. he's got Revelation 48. Is yeah, he's got a church? picture of a shirtless child, shirtless, <laughs> shirtless girl. Like dude, he, but he's yeah, got, that was a little. He's got a Bible oh verse. God. Dude, he's got a Baptist oh, church. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> <laughs> the dude, Baptist it, church. dude, government making sin legal does not. So he's got, <laughs> dude, the, a Baptist church marquee is in his, yeah. guys, one conversation at a time is on his Instagram. Uh, I guess that's not going to happen. It, it says, so what was this about? So Skylar Hazlitt has a picture of a, the, the something Baptist church. It says government making sin illegal does not make it right. And Skyler's caption is true. Mm -hmm. Period. What sin it was, like was it? Homosexuality? Were you against? Were you were against yeah. Proposition Eight? I don't know, but um, I don't, I don't know. I was Christian back then too. Is that crazy? I was just leaving God. This was, was like, only nine years ago. Yeah. Damn, I think you were probably on a better ten, track. Ten I mean, it's like there's a correlation. It was like there. true. Yeah, the you got that. Keep going down on your hand. And Keep going down. This is crazy. It's crazy. I mean, you. It looks like your life was happy. I don't like how close you are to this girl. <laughs> but other than that, it's it looks good. Scarier the further I get to roll down. Do you to talk to her anymore? I haven't talked to my sister in 10 years. Uh, Why? Because I was like, I was left. I'm like, peace out, guys. <laughs> Let me do something new. I was really, I didn't hate, I hated my life there. I always wanted to leave. I was like, fucking hate these people. Like, I was like, I don't know. I don't know. Dude, I saw a picture in front of his Bronco. You had a nice car. Yeah, my stepdad. Let's keep going down. Bronco and shit. Look at the Bronco pick, dude. This is, I think it already happened. Oh, wait, 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 wait. He's got a free yeah, speech. It's a little uh, meme here. It's crazy. <laughs> okay. Oh my God, dude. So it's got who? Who is that? Like Damn Ice it. Cube or Ice T? Who is ice, that? Ice T and then the Duck Dynasty. Guy? Okay. So yeah. so it's got Ice T and it says there's text over it, writing it's and performing crazy. a song about killing cops, free speech, and protected by the First Amendment. Then it's got the Duck Dynasty guy saying homosexual behavior is wrong, hate speech, and censored. What gives? Mm -hmm. This is before I started smoking meth. You know. So you were, you were, you you you'll admit that, dude, your brain is still holding on somehow. No, I mean I don't believe in any of that shit. We're like, I mean I love what? my family, but I don't love them as much as I you used know, to. There are there are some racist <laughs> undertones of this post. I just want to point out, Scott. Is there racist? In there? Stupid liberals and mostly everyone who Why likes rap is the caption, dude. NBA Mike does not approve. Let's keep going, dude. This is a fucking it's, gold mine. I don't remember. It's it's like, I just watched Duck Dynasty too. Like he, I was, yeah, 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 damn. <laughs> When was my great grandpa who died? That was crazy. He was 102 when he died. Oh my God. Is that, so, is that the car? 
Yeah, I used to coach that little kid. In yeah, look at the car. And he died of cancer. Yeah, like that. That's a dope Bronco. I mean, you beat it up a little bit, but it's still a dope Bronco. Yeah. Damn, Skyler. Well, Skyler, we have to bring the Not the so standard funny. podcast to an end here and transition yeah. to the Patreon pod portion of the show, mm -hmm. which I brought my Patreon sweater for oh, this let's shit. Let's go. I brought the Patreon yeah, sweater. Nice. Looks dope. So, so I got unmatched yeah. socks. Dude, I feel like fucking. I'm not even guys, better than right. Left, guys, uh, we'll do a little bit more. You'll see some more Skylar on the old Patreon. Like so come over there and check it out. Oh, it's been there. growing. Oh, we love you guys. Uh, it helps us do crazier stuff. I can pay Skylar. You know what I mean? We're going to keep uh, scrolling down the old IG page. <laughs> um, and then, yeah, of course. All and right. we'll go check out part of the Instagram on Patreon. Peace.